So nasikia nimekujua na polisi shule. Alafu shule was the CEO chairman from form 1. Okay? So CEO chairman amekujua na polisi shule. Nikambua umeshikwa uli rape mtoto wa 2 years old. Ah. Nauliza mko shule ni mimi mamnaongelea nani? Kaiko ndani. Wow. For two good weeks first nikatolewa Kenyago nikapeleka kwa Buruburu and I'm in school uniform. Na sawa na daim toini wa huu neighbor. Mtoini wake. I know the kid kuna mandazi friendly mm. zilikuwa 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 zitanga ndoma. Mm. Kwaweza keki za ndoma. <laughs> Juzi zilikuwa zaka ndoma lakini <laughs> keki. So zilikuwa toka 5 shillings eh. So I could buy two alafu na maji. So maji sijui kama ushaikunywa maji ukiwanja. It's a horrible, it's a horrible. Kwanza njaa uzidi. Iwa ngamba alafu unasikana kama unakufa. Yeah. So nilikuwa kunywa maji vikombe mbili then i take my ndoma then maji vikombe zingine mbili uh, we are we are here because of god's grace god's mercy and uh, hard work because we can't talk about a big god or we don't show him in a big way so this is you showing this is yes this you are god. in fact most of our friends eh most of our friends wanasema ngaji mko na nyumba kubwa excess tunambia yes we did that intentionally no na nyumba yetu ni kubwa hata kwa juu tuko na space big na tuko na watu watatu but we wanted that me me kama ni magari mimi napenda magari kubwa kubwa unaona yes i like big cars at about in fact ndio leta nyingine soon kubwa tena zaidi na i- yes i na want another one na bado nataka mingi hivi zipangane line because eh, i want to show people that god has kutoa hapa na kuleta hapa na bado binguni tuko na zingi na zingine yes yeah, so we have to show our god in a big big way and do you know eh, if you get a lot of money na hii pia ni lesson if you get a lot of money when you don't have character you pass it akumaliza kabisa kuna songa kisapri na semanga oredo shiaku ni iko ni ile hata vitu zako zinaweza kumali zinaweza kumaliza. kumaliza so if you don't have character if you get money before character you are you are you are likely you are probably you are doomed, you are to are doomed. yes wewe uko too likely ku fail ama ku oppressor hata wase in future mm. so trust the process one day your life is gonna change keep on believing you will Hello and welcome to today's episode of Inspire Global My People and I'm telling you if this episode does not inspire you si jui ni nini yake itawa inspire I'm about to bring you a story of a man mwenye amepitia life wrongly accused went after his dream he is now the owner of this beautiful house that's behind me na unajua venye nyashinski usema kabla ni fanye nini god ni bless na v8 you can see his wonderful car here his beautiful garden and he's going to inspire us with his story from rags to riches but i'm telling you guys the most important thing i've learned from today's conversation put god first hard work obedience consistency is of it zote you are about to hear them from his story and i hope i can also get to host the wife one day ndia tuambie what does it take wewe ubaki nyuma ule watoto so that your husband can be able kuinua hiyo flag and what is the importance of a family unit guys today's episode of inspire global iko about kwa bless so come let's meet this man as he gets ready to share his story na hizi vitu si dream my people tunaweza fika hapa so karibu sana <laughs> So guys, I want to start by reading something from Bonnie's uh, Facebook uh, account na alisema <laughs> sitanyamaza kwa shida na ninyamazie ushuhuda pia Mungu akitenda sitanyamazia I guess hapa ulikuwa na letter V8 home mama Yes I think so Okay Yes yes, yes. kabla hata utuambie the reason behind your post mm-hmm. maybe yes. you introduce for my people Um yes now my name is uh, Bonface Zairo yes. yes. Maina I am a father of three and a husband to one and I I am 37 years old. Yeah. Yes. Bonnie, yeah. you are such an inspiration. Mm-hmm. Wa 
I don't know where to classify mm -hmm. your story, yes. but for me, your story speaks God's grace, yes. God's promise. Yes. Akisema atatenda, atatenda. atatenda. Sure. So maybe if you could take us through your story pole pole, okay. how does a man mm -hmm. mwenye life yake ilikuwa so disrupted mm -hmm. end up kwanza owning this massively beautiful house yes. and having such a successful business? Mm -hmm. If you could maybe take us through your story pole pole. All right. Yes. I have a long story, yeah? yeah. But I'll make it as brief as possible. Mm -hmm. The story I'll start ni from um, let's say from high school. Okay? Starudi uko nyuma sana, but I was I was by born and raised in Ushago kidogo, mm -hmm. Nyeri. Yeah. For some 6 7 years, mm -hmm. then we came to Nairobi. Yeah. Then I bring forward mbaka after high school mm -hmm. or even be before high school yeah. Yeah. so when i was in form 2 my mom passed away all right so tulikuwa tunaka mali kule itwa dandora dandora to make ya face 1 a bit then we went to face 2 mm -hmm. so dandora ni mahali life a bit ni ghetto so life kidogo wanga ni ngumu kidogo but um ilikuwa manageable ju grace ilikuwa mm -hmm. so my story hata before ni sana mm -hmm. story yangu ni grace na story yangu ni mercy za god too so Dandora ilikuwa bearable, again because of the mercy and the grace of God. Mm -hmm. eh? So after Form 2, when I was in Form 2, my mom passed away. So I was sick, time kidogo, then she passed away. Mm. Then the father that we thought was our father, who is not our father, me mbaka lewezi yeju my father. So the name, your watu nitanga mine is not even my, is not even my name. That is a story that I about of mm. how I decided to call my name uh, yes, Maina. Maina. Yes. So the man who was in the picture, was called minor okay so i have a brother yeah. right so my brother is from my is from is my brother from my mother okay mm -hmm. but we don't share the same dad. dad then we had a sister who again passed away mm -hmm. so the Sorry. sister was again from the mother but not from the same father so i don't know my father i think i have a clue of who the father to my brother is yes. Then now my sister, Uyo Maina, the guy I'm about to look on here for all that time, was now the father. Mm -hmm. So my father was uh, Alikwa Jeshi, then, now that father. So aka, when my mom passed away, Ata mm -hmm. Akwa Somalia, eh? mm -hmm. so Alikwa Aka, Somalia, um, he had to come back. Mm -hmm. So Aka came back, we did the, the funeral, to come the burials and stuff. It was very tough, mm -hmm. it was very difficult. Because a form two, uh, a form two, upon a few like around 15, 16, 16 years up, nilikuwa a bit chini. Mm. But to come and age, a lot of sisi, sisi ni from our family, eh? in fact, mimi nwa ni mi omoka feke yang, all right? So mimi nwa ni mi omoka, na yiku omoka ni by distance far. So it's now that I'm trying now to bring others on board pole pole. Yeah. So we had no one in Nairobi. Sawa, sawa. So my brother after the burial I may have kwenda wapi shago mimi mm. nikabakia Nairobi peke yangu the reason why nilibakia ni juu I was in school and while I believe niko na better chances kupata survival kwa hiyo shule mm -hmm. than uh, any other place mm -hmm. juu kwa at least naweza wanaweza ni accommodate since they know me from <coughs> from at least for 2 years eh? so it happened ifo and uh, mama ka pass nikabakia Nairobi now the problem ni at Malt look tuna ka the house we had a rare that I using kwa nabia wife na mwambia uh, if I can get the contacts of Monyali kwa Monyo Ploti, eh. I'll go clear that balance. Ju, I'll go try come and come for the same, same place. I think I can. Mm. Nina ni mlipe likuwa 29,000. So I'll go and pay that money. Eh? But I'll have kutufukuza. So katombia, ni mwosa mehe hiyo deni, but you guys have to go. So kuna sister ya mahathe, tulikuwa tunakane hiyo time. Mm. So tukahama. Kuhama tukenda place ina na uko bado face 2 place kuhito marigoine. Na uko barabara ya chini. Yes. So we went there for a few months. Then, hata kuna story watu wajui, mm. but I think I'll just um, share it. Yes. I have, when, iyo time before ni kuambie kabla ni kuwe, so iyo story kabla ni kuambie penye ni meanzia, yeah. I am a born again Christian. Na, ile church ni kuwa na, na, na fellowship, pefa. Ni mekuwa mtuwa pefa from zamani. I was a Sunday school teacher, so oh. napenda watu hii sana. Oh. And uh, nilikuwa na iyo ministry for, for a very long time. Mbaka leo hii, mi napenda watu hii sana. Oh. So, um, tukahama, tukenda uko chini. 
kwenda uko chini my mom was very hard working when she was alive eh? mm. alikuwa ame accumulate a few things here there so a few things nikumaanisha kiti nini vitanda ka tv castove yes ifo eh. kagaso wapi si ka, ni castove <laughs> eh? yes but it was amazing eh? so tukahami uko chini <laughs> then kulikuwa dandora kuna mambo mingi sana kabisa so penye tulihamia there was a woman kwa hiyo plot so a woman tulikuwa tunakaa huko na yeye siko nafikiria kona akona il motive or some other mm. in fact nilikuwa najua tu kama ni jirani so one day mimi nikiwa shule form 2 bado sijatoka form 2 niko i think form 2 ama ni shata nazi to form 3 hapo mm. hivyo so nasikia nimekujua na polisi shule alafu shule was the CU chairman from form 1 okay so CU chairman amekujua na polisi shule eh hey, form ni gani tabu ndajuliambe ndajuliambele so nikakaa nikachukuliwa and ilikuwa very chaotic juli kama hizi malantura zimekam una hizi manini za movie vinya yes. gari ukamu wasio yes. nashuka nini yes. So nika kam nikachukuliwa nikapelekwa police to Kenyago police station so Kenyago police station nauliza nimefanya nini nikaambua umeshikwa uli rape mtoto wa 2 years old ah nauliza mko sure ni mimi mnaongelea nani it was the hardest moment apaka leo here thing many people don't know this story but i think it's a good time now because um naweza kuona mpata kanguvu kiasi it's a very hard thing it was a terrible terrible thing it happened to me na ikakuwa ni ngumu na wauliza okay ni nani oh. so the mother now came in na uliza, do you know this woman Nabi, yeah, this is my neighbor and uh uyo mama so how is in face hivi yes. na namuuliza so what mimi sasa sifai kuuliza swali mimi ndo nauliza maswali oh. nawaambia i don't know if you guys know what you are talking about yes. i am a born again christian i am this i am this kama mama no 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 so to call the whole st- uh, story short nikashikwa nikaikwa ndani wow for two good weeks fast nikatolewa Kenya go nikapelekwa Buruburu and I'm in school uniform na sawa na dai mtoini wa huu neighbor mtoini wake i know the kid the kid i am very friendly to a toy hey. so nilikuwa natoka shule sometimes and this mother used to respect her nakumbuka huko Dandora mlikuwa mna um, kama ni viombo akunanga sink sink ni community wale so ni moja so nakumbuka nikaenda kuosha tu viombo twangu kiasi huyo mama alikuwa na kama na mtolea viombo kwanza zangu yeah, amalize jua kona watu wengi but ikakuwa ni swali moja tiki sana. So then later nikakam kuna friend of mine. Mama yake pia alikuwa kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni kakuni ya wa mama. Yeah. They come, they manipulate you, they get 30,000. Okay? So story kisha enda hivyo kidogo kidogo wanapata 30k. Problem ni atina mimi from my position I could not give 30,000 because of the church. So the church said we know this uh, young man and you cannot give bribe. Acha kesi ifanye nini? Isonge mbele. So I'll make it short. The yes. case went on for 5 good years but i was still in school but i saw god i saw god because those two weeks that i was in ni kapelekwa buruburu i saw 76 people give their life to christ you nilikuwa na preach wapi buruburu yes so uh, i was on tuesdays thursdays i used to preach so i saw 76 people are giving their life to christ the lawyer mwenye alinisimamia case aitwa mr ndegwa was a husband to the patron sio patron wa CU alikuwa patron wa Wildlife Club eh? yes. which still I was the chairman all right so akajitolea akasema do this case for free so we went on for the for five years na hiyo kesi then kesi kakami kaisha before the case comes to the end i saw god bringing confusion una venye god bible sema anga ataleta ata ataskata your enemies wataenda in seven different ways so i saw that i saw tuki ulizwa kesi nao when kesi ko ongoing they call the doctor monyale mwenye alisemekana alipima mtoto bla bla na ikao eh. and it's a 2 years old huyo eh? mtu yumo na nimeshika ongo kwa 1 and a half so it's almost that age it was very painful so uh daktari akasema if the ikasemekana the card ambayo ilikuja kotini haikuwa na stamp so daktari akasema if the name of the hospital is mine but the card does not have a stamp then i can't verify that card so he stood ikakuwa imesha hivyo the husband came the father now to the daughter akaulizwa even the name of the child kwa koti amesahau jina ya mtoto wake the name hata tukufikia ngapi acha kukisi na mama so judge akanalify nini akanalify the case because there was no evidence police mwenye alikuwa allegedly alikuwa na hiyo case kasema kana patikana shapigwa nini transfer. transfer so i have seen these stories kwa tv sijui wasi walichukua makosa kulikuwa na nini And especially I, men na men, cases za abuse inakuwa ni inakuwa ni manipulation so in that case manipulation ilikuwa ni jumia don't speak a lot so tulipohamia kwa hiyo plot nobody knows about me so they are seeing 
nikija na mdogo kuna vitu kwa nyumba so he must have a father somewhere mother somewhere mwenye mtumia nini ana finance the case went on for 5 years i th I, th i thank god for my siu patron huyo madam alisimama even after finishing high school yusa hiyo case ile iliendelea hata after nimetoka shule so tukakaa tukamaliza case and one day nimeenda dandora i met that woman kwa hospitali so i went nilikuwa nimekaa chini hosi ka kwa hizo hosi za um, serikali uh. so she came kukuja hapo na kiti so nikamsi 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 mwambie nikamwambia you can have a seat okay she was terrified hajui atafanya nini but i just went on na shughuli zangu mimi and i went and after that case the lawyer told me now we have a very good chance to bring you back to life umtu amekuisti a good five years oh, nikamwambia no we will not do this eh? nikamwambia i feel i feel you just forgive her okay but was very i think lead if ushai patwa na kitu you have no support number one eh? you have no one to to call i remember shusho yangu shusho yangu alikam na title deed ya ushago because tulikuwa tuna bond to 20000 all right 20000 is mamia kama bond the church gave 10000 lawyer mwenye nafaa kulipa akatoa 10000 yake so 20000 ni kasimamia bond i remember 5 years later nilikuwa nil, nikapotoa my 20000 i took the 10000 back to the church i give the lawyer 10000 back so ikaisha hivyo but it was a tough moment so hii oh. nakwambia after sasa high, yeah, high school so nimeingia form 3 again yeah. so case bado iko going up yes. so form 3 again nilikaa nikakuwa msika so kwa msika it's because i was living in a store yeah. using kwa nambia wife namwambia i need to do this i need to nimeje join tiktok recently And so na nika feel my aim in fact ndo kupa story different at a, at a kiasi yes. of how god works yeah. when you text me that ile time will to me a message yes. nilikuwa na hiyo place umekaa eh. my wife is there she can tell you I was there crying for more than 45 minutes. Up place of Mecca that night. I was crying like when I be wife, like when I be wife. How orphans go through a lot eh. Now nanga sometimes what waku waku pata direction. So when I was crying evo evo. So the the video that you saw, okay? Yes. Ni post that night. Now even when I remember there is a song I can hear there is a song. Yeah. Ebuski song. Yeah. I was crying here. Yes. After kusikia something nilisikia kwa YouTube nikasikia venye Mama fulani tu alikuwa anapea na story yake kwa song akisema akiongea kuhusu venye watu huyu kosa direction sometimes eh na ana hope huyo mtu mwenye amezaa atakuja kuwa father mwenye atapea na direction kwa watu wake all right so i cried mm. nikaeka hiyo video na nikasema acha let me share my story kidogo mm -hmm. of uh, coming from somewhere to, to here yes so hata hata hii interview the god ali plan from ju alijua alijua nda ku break okay nda ku break utalia mimi I, I, i hardly cry we feel we samanga minimum hard minimum so minimum hard go yes but there are things that just touch me to the core yeah so i cried there and nikalia nika feel too emotional i cried and then i said i have i have to use this one now as a pillar Amen. as a as a, as a strength you. and you may did quite interview now Thank we can you. be able to inspire people Thank you. all right yes so i was living in a store sawa so when nili, when my mom passed away tukafukuzwa so kule chini after nimekaa nikashikwa pia tukashindwa kulipa rent tukafukuzwa again then my aunt when you start to go akaolewa kaenda na kuru so nikabaki ya solo mm. so zile tulizikuwa kwa hauki dogo kidogo za my mom zile alikuwa amewacha i give to an elder wa chacha alikuwa na space and weke so mimi nikabaki sana niko nini mm. freelance sana niko mtada ndo sasa but i'm still going to school yes. so going to school i don't pay fees you see na mtu akonilipia fees so i used to go survive two weeks i go study kama niko ni shule na kumbuka hata nikiambia wase juzi tumekuwa na reunion ya shule nilikuwa nanga mwalimu class teacher kikam na kitabu before you hata asome jina mimi nilikuwa kwa mlango nikitoka because i know yes hata alikuwa anauliza who give you permission to come back so mimi natoka nafanya nini i go nilikuwa nasoma kwa library ya kaza iko pale karibu bangi north so i go there ilikuwa free nasoma bla bla i used to say ile library yenye iko hapa kwa barabara hivyo after market unajua your library nimeenda for like one ya kwenda kusomea huko for free i used to go there it was free so nikwenda huko hivyo unaenda unachukua vitabu na andikisha alafu unaandikisha ukimaliza unaziletea so i used to go there na study sometimes so problem yangu ilikuwa ti i was willing but was nilikuwa mashida na njaa mingi you can't even focus so kuna wase leo ni mabishta wangu still i value all friends especially all to one out two usually ni help ni survive ki food liko na survive na 10 shillings when ni mepata that is mimi nimelanja mara mob sana so hiyo time nilikuwa naomba msi hata kuna msi nimeomba i think mingi so juice alikuwa anasimama siasa 
nikamsponsor vitu mob sana nikamsponsor vitu mob vitu mob nikamwambia wife zilifikata ngili so plus but ni juu um see in time ninge mobile 10 shillings alikuwa anapatia wow. so 10 shillings will cater for kuna mandazi friends zilikuwa 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 mm. zilikuwa zitanga ndoma mm. kwa za keki za ndoma hizo <laughs> zilikuwa za kandoma lakini <laughs> keki so zilikuwa toka 5 shillings eh so i could buy two alafu na match so maji sijui kama ushaikunywa maji ukiwanja it's a horrible it's a holy kwanza njaa uzidi iwa ngamba alafu unasikana kama unakufa yeah. so nilikuwa kunywa maji vikombe mbili then i take my ndoma then maji vikombe zingine mbili so na feel too tumbe jaa lakini you were not good to go but ilikuwa mm. tricky food ilikuwa ni hard to survive nayo so kuna mama penye tulikuwa tunakaa again ile area ilikuwa mm. ni yeah. kwa penye tulitoka madhi aki akipass mm. so nikarudi hapo tena nikaongea na maflani kwambia niache aka nibia kiateka as niko shule kwa plot yako utafutie ka space naweza kuwa nafanya nini na lala so between houses mbili nyumba kama hii na nyumba kama hii kulikuwa na ka space so nilienda hapo nikapatiwa ka space wakafunika juu so bed haingetoshea hapo hivyo so tulipigilia mbao pande hii mbao pande hii mattress ya my mom yalikuwa nayo nikakaa nayo so the mattress was a 5 was a 5 by 6 mbona ngo pia alikuwa amemoka hizo hizo mali siko alikuwa na 5 by 6 mm. yeah. but hiyo mattress haingekaa hivi So bed yangu ilikuwa inakaani kama iko na shimu ilikuwa inakaani kama cave. Oh yeah. Ndani bring matu risoka ni kama wanaingia wapi. <laughs> kwa cave eh. So mabish tongo alikuwa ananiambia hiyo hawi ilikuwa inakaa mkiingia eh. kuna bish yake itakuwa shedi. Mm. Kulikuwa tunaingia na yeye mnaka ni kama mpangana kwa basi. Una vile mnapangana ngai hivi. Mm. Jua mwezi ka hapa na hapa ni moja mbele mwingine nyuma yes, hivyo. Yes. Hiyo nyumba ni accommodate three people at most. The problem with that house ilikuwa gani? Ati mlango wake ilikuwa una hizo mlango zitakuwa ni mlango nusu. So chini asubuhi nilikuwa naamka napata watu wa jirani washaingia kwa hao ndio mlango wenyewe ni half mm. so huko kwangu panya nini zilikuwa ni in out zileingia zikito so from hiyo nika develop shida ya kifua juu ya baridi i remember one day alafu hiyo ilikuwa kukinyesha ilikuwa kuna nyesha maji inaingia kwa hao there's a day nilikam afresh and nimetoka shule nilala kama nimekaa chini pale kwa the wow. extreme end juu nilikam unashika maji kwa mattress hivi unamboga hivi so kuna vile ongelala wapi It was a horrible horrible situation so nilikuwa na lalapo yes nikakaa hapo for 3 years so that's from 2 ikaenda kuisha i don't know from 3 na form 4 na bit of after nimetoka high school na eh. saiba du uko na kesi na saiba du niko na kesi oh, all right alafu sasa hata shida sio hiyo shida ni nimekaa nimekuwa msik so kwa msik nimekuwa na develop shida za kifua nilikuwa nimekonda na kushop cha nini za mine nilikuwa nimekonda sana i was nilikuwa kataini sana nimezunguka mimi naweza kupeleka hospitali ya Nairobi hii hata place juu kuna hospitali na remember one time when nilikuwa ni mbele kabisa nikaa na place hata nishai faint nishai faint mimi sio mtu wa kufaint faint nishai faint ya Kenyatta you said nilikuwa na vomit blood nini kumbe nilikuwa na TB nilikuwa nikula pande moja so i had to fake hata kuna time nilishia hospitali fulani nilikuwa na girl, na girlfriend fulani eh. kabla ni mari wife eh. Eh. so tuli have ku fake yeye ni wife yangu jule nembo lazima nikam na nikam na next of kin yes. mtu legit mm. si sio kama girlfriend mm. so i have come na rings fake tuka come tuka va hapo hivyo nje tukaingia nikaza this my wife <laughs> na kasi mbona mimi na tukamaliza story mm. so we we tukapata tukapata medication hiyo gonjo ilikaa for eight good years i saw god do when i finally went to agakan so agakan sound hiyo ni baadaye ni kama ni get job hiyo yeah. daktari aliniambia ngawa do ada kanambia do you drink nikamwambia no do you smoke na kanambia you are very lucky do if you are doing the two how you come survive for this long unjo kulisha kita kitambo it was horrible yeah. so nika come i finished high school Kumaliza high school wacha nikupe story nyingine kidogo. Kumaliza high school sije ile school fees tag form 2. So Musa vibe na mchezo wa paka na panya na mwalimu toka rudi toka rudi. So nimemaliza high school. Kumaliza high school before nimaliza high school mtu alipanga 3000 then we were paying 3000 um I think 3200 mm. for the exams. So mm. lazima ungelipa cash. Mm. I don't have that money. So nika nika kuna pressure niko na stress I don't know what to do. Mm. The CEO of my school kwenye nilikuwa wakachangisha 10 bob mwenye 5 bob mwenye 20 bob wakafikisha 3000 mm. i think 100 and something mm. but then it time ran home so that's you alafu siko na phone so siju kama washapata hiyo do yeah. but iko like one day two days too then i went to and go get na church mm. church wakanepatia wakachanga my youth wa church wakachanga 3000 na mm. but because i was crying to god every night niko naambia god manzi uwezi kwa mimi nitamaka for phone kwa sababu exam it was very bad so i used to pray to god i used to pray to god Do you believe in angels? Yes. You do. Yes. So if you do, me I I saw one. Okay, I, I never saw one, but I heard of one. Mhm. Juni nilipokuwa na cry hivyo, nilitumaniwa 
nikam shule na basi akaniambia akatuma msaka ambia ukiwa na boni mshwa kama nini shule kuna mtu amemlipia exam so kwenda shule i went nikauliza alikuwa anaoga meri nikauliza meri nani alinilipia exam exam so there, there's a woman who came akakulipia 3200 akauliza who is born first thairo maina okay tukamwambia ni mtu fulani fulani hivyo tukam so mpaka tukamuuliza ye where ni nani kwa kaza mwana mimi si mjuu but i've been told to come specifically pay fees for bond fees the romaina so akaambwa can you wait i to come akasema no i don't even have to sina mission ya ya to meet my obligation was just to to pay that amount so i got 3200 for the from that woman that i've never known up to date i got 3100 and something from the cu ali changachanga and from the youth of my church so he ngine kena towards the fees so that's the only fee i paid you 6000 na he ngine i never paid so tukamaliza shule Then kulikuwa after nimetoka shule sasa so nimetoka chuo nimeenda hustle. Mm. So nitakadi kumaliza story za chuo. Yes, yes. I siju kulifanyika siju kama ilikuwa true story or not bunge. Siju wamepitisha ati wale watu ati kuna students wanakuwa bright lakini ati waje uh, endelea na life yao juu. Papers zao zilikuwa head na mashule. So ukasemekana kulikuwa na kuna some sort of confusion eh. Ati wapewe ma certificate zao ndio aweze kuendeleza na job mm. ama na masomo yao ku progress na masomo yao. Mm. So nikapigwa simu nikamwonea kuna confusion. So saa na from ni shule. Shule nilikuwa napendwa sana. Mm. Hebu kam tu baba tupeane nini? Certificates. Certificate. My friend penye nilikuwa leta Kenya nilikuwa nafanya ni akibi wapi? Shule. Kufika tu vile kapo yangu. Kufika home saa kumi. Nasikia gavai msema kuna serikali wa nini? Kaiyo. Kuna serikali. Oh. But mimi nilikuwa na mpaka zangu sasa. So at least from there ningeza kufanya whatever yes. wanted. Matio sio nikasia kama nika nikaishi nika hapo hivyo. So nikatoka, so nikatoka high school, nikaanza hustle sasa. Basi ile high school nilikuwa nafanya mjengo bado nilikuwa kuna place nilikuwa na kumwagilia maji jioni. Yes, na mwagilia maji na poa 70 bob. Hiyo nikiwa nikiwa bado chuo. So after mm. high school sana nikaenda fully fully survival mode sasa. Yes. So ni mawax huku, mimi tukienda Dandora kuna shops mpaka saa hizi naweza kuonyesha. Nilikuwa naandika calligraphy zile na andikia wase shop. Serious na andikia nini kwa ya nduta, yes, kwa serious, shop, yes. Kwa... yes ilikuwa ni paleta nilikuwa tuna charge 10 bob but since rangi iko yangu brush iko yangu mwenye hiyo alipatia 3 bob so mimi naandika tu rangi ni yake alafu juu yeye ndio mwenye job mimi nakula 3 bob paleta so hapo sije kwanza saa 2 so nika nikasukuma sukuma vibarua nikafanya mjengo nikafanya nini then nikapata job church church yetu bado yes yes yeah, so huko tuko kule ma mm, mimi nilikuwa na napenda stories za maua ndakushuhudia around mm. hata umeona i think nimeona, yes yes nimeona hizo so stories sana yes. so church mimi nilikuwa nilikuwa napenda kupanda maua hivyo nini napenda hiyo green uh, ni environment so tukiwa pale church ikaanza computer classes so ikaanza computer classes nikafanya computers nikalipo certificate <laughs> kufanya, kufanya certificate tukaambua the first student mmoja alikuwa number one atapatiwa scholarship ya free ya kufanya diploma okay na atakuwa anafunza certificate kwa same school. Wow. So mimi nika nikasukuma nika, 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 na sikuwa na mbona yako namba ngapi? Namba 2. So namba 2 nikasema okay it's okay. God akasaidia mwenye alikuwa namba 1, akalikuwa ameitwa Nairobi University, hey. alikuwa ameitwa CPU ile CPU mm. center iko pale mm. Karude. Mm. So angeza kwa wapi? So tukaambua mwenye alikuwa namba 2 automatically ndio atachukua hiyo nini? So I took it. So mimi nilikuwa nafunza certificate as nasoma diploma computer. But pale church ni more of ministry. Okay? So nafunza mimi ni mwalimu but na alafu na mimi ndio kiateka bado pale yes. mimi ndio messenger mm. mimi ndio kuosha gari ya pastors pale hivyo alafu mwisho wa mwezi nalipoa 1000 Kenyan shillings all right so ilikuwa ni survival mode tu na swag kama unasoma but still una una survive bado niko tu kwa kale kahao mm. so hapo ndio opportunity zangu zilianza ku come in one day my bishop mwenye anaitwa bishop randa alikuwa baka alikuwa na kabondo kisumu huko hivyo so aka alikuwa anatuma alikuwa anatume barua kaniambia do this eh take this letter to kuna hizo kuna kuna, kuna gari times zilikuwa zitangoa Kampala so kuna nini no akamba mm. akamba zilikuwa pale hivyo Kampala na hapo mm. hivyo mm. so take this letter to Kampala coach to akamba coach sorry. akamba kimbiza hii barua fasa fasa ina 5k babangu ke kesho, kesho. alafu hiyo time hiyo siku ilikuwa wewe ni jioni nilikuwa na commitment na mabishto wangu mtaani but obedience sini story obedience sana nao nikasema i can't si zikata akanipatia so ngapi so mbili nikakimbia stage mimi huyo nikaingia gari then 
kulikuwa na shida ya transport hizo hizo ma days eh so kuna best yangu inaitwa Musha so what used to happen eh if uko tao unafanya job tao uliko una ngoja gari uliko na tembea mpaka ngara mm. sawa mm. una ngoja gari yenyewe inatoka mta unaingia ikienda tao tao ndio watu wa clash uko ufanye nini uko hapo ndani uko ndani urudi nao nini mta alright hakika mbona wewe 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 nini wewe hizo madini acha nikwambie hiyo kitu mimi nimefanya unajua utalipishwa kuingia tao so na utakosa na utakosa kiti exactly so hiyo ndio ile story sasa so mimi kuingia mwenye msimu makaribu na mimi ni jamaa tulikuwa naye church alikuwa ndo msha alikuwa senior wangu so bro yake ndo alikuwa rika yangu wa so msha eh eh bonus ni aje niko ndani itakuwa bonus from is all the name mtani bonus ni aje ifiti nikamwambia navuka tao akaniambia na excuse kwa pi job nikamwambia mko tu church mufanya 1 2 3 4 akaniambia ta kuna place nimetoka sasa hii hii huu msha atakamsewaka wakazi unaweza kuwa available nikamwambia mimi niko available kama kitu kingine jisa church mu lipo sa sawa So akaniambia ni sawa kesho tupatane tao time. Nikamwambia ni na fare si mimi iko na sawa mbili. Na hizo mbili nimelipa tayari hapa nimelipa fare. Ingine nafaa nitu na wapi mtaka nime basi kama kesho alikuwa na present wa sivo. Eh. Kama sivo asubuhi by 7:30 by 7:00 by to nikupia fare ya tutaanisha eh. hivyo. So nikafanya hivyo next day nikaenda mtaka nipeleka tao. Mm. That's why I met my former employer. Okay, alikuwa itwa Ben. So Ben alikuwa na shop ya whatever now I did with. Yes. That's around 16 years ago. Mm. Okay. I went there. Ben ni mtu alikuwa na grow time but hiyo time hiyo field ito iko na wasi wengi. Ama field yao yeah. jua iko yetu now. Yes. Now I used to work there with the wife. Nilikuwa namsaidia kutoa vitu. Akam tukamita kanifanyia interview. Ben pia funny enough ame grow ya Dandora. Yeah. So kwa kuna plenty of of things we share in common. Eh? Yes. In fact Ben we share plenty of things in common. Na ni take in as 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 um as an inferior person um na ilikuwa fit i used to stammer a lot pn mtu akuwa ku waku stammer so i think i'll take in from from a mercy point of view akona tu huyu wacha nimsaidie nimsaidie my first salary was 7000 kidogo then we negotiate yes. like 9000 yes. so officially most of my first salary ya tulia na ilikuwa 9000 kenyan shillings mm. so i started working i was extremely so very hard working hard work na hiyo wanga sichezi na juu i have no way else ya ku land kama si kwa kwa poverty so if there is anything i run away from mazi ni poverty ndio nimekula problems proper uje kula shida mimi nimekula shida mimi kuna siku moja ni kutake kubaka kuna siku moja ni shikwa na 50 bob hata sija kumaliza suri za mbu yangu na kumaliza siku nyingine kuna siku ni shikwa na 50 bob nimetrek from tao to hallingham nimeenda kusiu baba yangu mwenye alikuwa anafikiria ni baba yangu hata hakutokea niko na 50 bob nikakuja nikapitia pale pale hivu huru park hiyo time kulikuwa na masoda za softa nilipita hivi lini nikaona softa na keki na niko na 50 bob ndio nafanya nipeleke mtaani dando nika walk away like um, 200 meters ndio have to go back nikaoleza umse hii ni ngapi hiyo time ilikuwa 12 bob na hizi keki kambe nifungie keki nne na softa nikakula nikaenda nikaenda kwa train kudandia train sasa alright so nimekula shida kesi baadaye kesi baadaye <laughs> nimekula shida when i got that opportunity siko hii feel kama naweza play na job so i used to work extremely so very so hapa ni kwa beni sasa hapa ni kwa beni so maybe wa explain eh job yes. ilikuwa gani cuz ni similar yes. na ile kitu yes. unadu so hiyo job ni ya kuza sound equipment yes. public address yeah. eh? so public address iko na vitu za music iko na vitu za sound iko na instruments hizi magita makibo and stuff eh? mm. so ni line haina wasi wengi ni line haina pia clientele kubwa kama nguo yes. staff eh? so ilikuwa ni ya kuzezo mapa ya mm. public address yeah. so mimi kwa Ben shida ya pale sana ni ya timi kila kitu Ben ni mtu busy busy kidogo kidogo mm. ameenda China ameenda wapi mimi niliko pale kwa shop na the wife the wife ni mkalm ni relax ananga story mingi so mimi niliko pale yeah. mimi sales mimi ndio marketing mimi ndio cashier mimi ndio accountant mimi ndio security mimi ndio <laughs> trustee mimi ndio kila kitu <laughs> so tukafanya job tukafanya job tukafanya job after two years mm. akaniongeza dollars kafika 12000 alright so mu survive mujua mujua mpaka saa hizi okay saa hii sasa hizi si, nikasema si, 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 uongo saa hizi sijuangi bei ya vitu unaona sijuangi bei ya vitu juu maybe hautakuwa so much kwa hiyo but yes. then nilikuwa jua bei ya kila kitu mimi ningeingia supermarket kama ngapi hiyo time kulikuwa na kina nako mart kina na taskies kulikuwa na zilikuwa kama nne yes ningeatembea hii niangalia unga ni ngapi 74 yes 73 
so ninge bai kwa 72 uh -huh. yes hiyo bob ni ya maana so ninge fanya hivyo juu ya tuhesabu juu if you are counting for 12000 but then he times up ile place nilikuwa nakaa nishahama kwa kwa akale ka store yes. nimejia kwa nyumba ya 1500 so oh, lazima yeah. nipeke nini keja but then i used to have a home bank nilikuwa naambia wasi ni juzi i used to have a home bank so hii home bank ilikuwa ni ya ku save any coin that i'm able to save naeka wapi hapo alafu itatumika to was the payment of my rent so kuna time hata ningia pata nimbe ni pa rent na to savings Okay so ningeanza ningeanza pia ku save save nini uh -huh. tu pesa tu wangu uh -huh. so nikajua job nikajua job kwenye harakati ya kuachiwa vitu mingi sana nilikuwa na complaint sometimes to am um, human eh? na feel niko exhausted na feel niko natumika sana all right so kumbe then sikujua what god alikuwa ni prepare for so much so handle this you will use this one somewhere handle this na ndio encourage mnata before nifike kwa the end yes. of the of the yes. um, story eh? yes that whatever all of us are going through right now even this story is something that we will use in future so, so we are doing this story but then 10 years from now tutasema ah kumbe ile story ilikuwa ni sabia hii ni sabia hii all right you may unafika place ulizo who are you as i am lean, lean, lean who do we know you can we trust you wa show videos zako ambie i'm the one who who Did used this. to do this yes me look ah it's you Unapata kitu kumbe ilikuwa na relevance nothing is a yes. coincidence nothing Kila is a coincidence kitu yes. have purpose na cartoon moja ilikuwa tangoa panda ilikuwa tangoa sio something panda eh mm. alikuwa sema nga hiyo character alikuwa sema there are no accidents hakuna ng accidents kila kitu waga imepangwa na god na najonga this one will be used somewhere so hiyo time nilikuwa nikipitia very hard time eh ilikuwa bit tricky mm. basi kujua ni sababu ya nini mm. So we went on with that company tukakuwa hapo ndiko hapo for like for 8 years. The journey hapo ilikuwa bit ilikuwa ngumu. Okay? Tumekosana na Ben many times. Ben alikuwa pia ni mtu akijam. Ni hivyo. Unazafikiria wali naisha. Eh? Hata kuna time I don't travel gana naye sometimes hivyo. Kuna time nashindi tumalindi. Alafu sasa mimi nimetembea Kenya yote by the way. Kuna time nilikuwa nafanya marketing. Na hiyo marketing na pareka vitu kuna for 3 days na power thao kama bonus na inakuwa ni hivyo kumbe I'm, i'm still learning kumbe na connect na wasi kumbe sijui kenye nafanya mimi and this is what i see yes. especially sa ingine when it comes to money yes. unaweza ona ile pesa yenye unalipwa ni kidogo you you want the money yes. hawoni e experience yes. ndio asset yes and do you know eh if you get a lot of money na hii pia ni lesson if you get a lot of money when you don't have character you possess kumaliza kabisa kuna song ya kisapri na semanga unaedosha kuna iko ni ile hata vitu zako zinaweza kumali zinaweza kumaliza. kumaliza so if you don't have character if you get money before character you are you are you are likely you are probably you are doomed, you are doomed. doomed. yes wewe uko too likely ku fail ama ku oppressor hata wase in future mm. so mimi nika learn plenty of things lessons ni learn lessons ni learn lessons but nika feel ai is that kama zimetosha god na mbia god za sorry sasa sasa ni ready for nini uh, but still sikuwa ready yeah. so it will take eight good years to learn whatever god wanted me to, to learn ika fika time ya kutoka so time ya kutoka i am marrying now so nime marry yes like an year before one one and a half years before sana nitoke yeah. so nime get wife nime get wife um to me date kidogo do ex wangu pia alikuwa tumeleta for long nikona Isaac Isaac kudet for long kama azivaka azivaka here is a bio bio upeleke mtu kwa mtu 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 kwa house you get my wife now nikambia ni hii for me ni hapa hivi sha oana so kuona wife akakuwa anafanya job pale tawe place ya kuza specs so at least akona kama mshahara um most people ambao waga kuna watu kwa very keen na very sensitive na patanga na piganga mimi mimi ni hawa say mimi like venye mlemea mna kam nilikuwa ready from from the day you told me you are coming oh. so nimeambia wasi kuna wageni ndakuwa nao siku fulani if ni anything mnafaa mpange kila Before. kitu so kwenye harakati ya kuwa na hiyo character wife nikamwambia now if 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 nafaa kuacha job you nilikuwa na feel in my heart now my time is coming all right and um wife sana nikamwambia because uko na kamshara alikuwa alikuwa i think 30000 or so akamshara tunaweza lipwa nako hao tunaweza fanya nako 1 2 3 4 so wacha nione kama anaweza risk nini wacha job by hiyo time nime accumulate for 8 years nikuwa nime accumulate 450000 for 8 years yes for 8 years now how did i do that mshahara wangu ilikuwa panda panda ilikuwa yeah. 25000 hapo 28k mm, mm. alafu nikiwa 5 years kwa hiyo kampuni nikaanza sound yangu so nikajibaia niki save to do na buy speaker na buy ingine nikamweka sound kaku haya yeah. so my first job was in 2009 all right ilikuwa pale um, park university story 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 how ilikuwa very good pale ndani 
but time ya kutoka nje ilikuwa hectic juu three speakers cannot serve an audience of of 400 500 people so nilikuwa sikia mc oh yeah tuongezea sauti na sikia speaker na kuban na sasa hiyo unaona operate sound yako sound yangu so ma, ma zile sasa yenye uko free yes. uko na pia hustle yako kando sasa nilikuwa na boy flani ambaye alikuwa mtu na baden kama alika job eh. sio time nilikuwa namtuma eh. but hiyo hiyo siku ni wewe ulikuwa area sasa nikatoka juu nilikuwa job yangu ya kwa ya kwanza ni hectic but we managed it to cap out of 15000 problem that we could save so little juu sina gari huyo mse mna wakna yeye mwingine mkombo umehaya bla bla ikakuwa ni hivyo mm-hmm. so it years ndio hizi mekam mm-hmm. it years go come I feel like I need to move out. But nasikia uoga. Nasikia kama siko siko prepared enough. Oh, tell me about Then it. God sends the sister to the boss. Okay? Unajua story ya Farao? Eh. Farao pia ni ni mgodly kivi yake. Unajua mse anaitwa Mnyali Ali nini Yesu ali Betre Yesu? Mhm. Anaitwa nani? Oh uh, Judas. Judas. Yes. Judas ni mgodly. Yes. You God ali jua lazima kutakuwa na Judas ndio kuweza kuwa na kuweza kuwa na mtu mmoja ta make you events zake mm, zikam mm, true yes. alright so judas alikuwa kwa plan ya god yeah. from day one uh-huh. same as farao eh. if akungi kwa na farao wana wa israeli hao ndio wangetoka so lazima kungi kwa na msikamo yeah. yeah. so god sends a farao to me sister nani yeah. ya dosi ya dem ni atari mdem muatari kisirani nini ikafika mpaka place kwambe nda kuchapa sasa wewe well, ukamsho hivyo eh nda kuchapa na mimi mimi ni miss hiyo type but nikwambia nda kuchapa jua liko all over nimeosha pale nimeangana nimeosha ndio amekuja amekanyanga naambia gladys nikae kiuru nini ni mbaya wewe nini wewe eh wewe <laughs> mdomo eh ana niambia nini nani nani ni kwa too much then kwa kuona plenty of other things that are not not working together man si uongelele hii story ya confusion wala yes. acha god akitaka yes. utoke pahali utatoka utatoka hakuna kitu uenda sawa unaamka umechoka yes. hata vitu zilikuwa zinakufurahisha kazi huyu na kisirani yake this yes. side huyu na kisirani yake this kila side kitu. kila kitu and you know now hapo wakati when god amenza sasa kukusho ispotoka mimi na mimi naenda oh man so kuna wasi wako kwa stagnation sasa hizi and they feel they in the wrong places una feel kitu this one No. So zikaka mingi. Dosi pia atusikisa atusikizani. Wife yake pia pale nyingine sio ameshikwa na mambo gani. Mimi ndio niko kwa account. Faraun ndio catalyst. Sasa catalyst pale ni pia nazichemusha mambo zake. <laughs> Unaona imekuwa ni noma. Acha ni make short. Yes. Nika nika nikatoka. But before nitoke there is something wrong and I believe in. Huyo mse nimekuwa na for 8 years. However good he was, however bad he was, kwa ngo ilikuwa ni a good experience na Musa manga sa hizi then siko na hiyo mind then mi, in fact mimi nimeshika kusema mdusongo alikuwa mbaya sana then nikam nikajua kumbe ilikuwa ni party ya god akuwe venye yako mtafu hivyo na mahali hivyo ndio uweze kulearn so nikatoka but i knew one thing from that time nikajua usipotoka place na blessings hiyo mse chance za uta, utakuwa frustrated so i went to him nikamwambia nao ben i need to go i just need one word from you dadhi midia ni bless ni bless, ni bless tumemit na after him baada tumongenea jana na nikumshanga that one thing anaambia do you know blessing umeshika after hapo ni mimi niliwachilia nikamwambia i know na mpaka leo mu appreciate you up to hata saizi nimeandika sun wake job wow sawa sawa i work with the sun wow na the sun kuna nimemshikilia hapa hivi okay na nampeaga treatment na jua hata nilikuwa naambia wife this is god trying now to see tuona nasikia kulialia sawa This is now God trying to see eh, if kama, whatever treatment I was given yes, I'll give back. Yes. No na. Bible says I'll give and it shall come back to you. Good measure pressed down running over. Lakini haimaanishaji nini? Wewe kama ushape wa operation, oh, oh, usiopress wasi. There you go. Jifunze ku forgive wasi, jifunze ku treat wasi better, Kuwa jifunze kuwa na profit. Na hiyo God usema nga God achi kama again ku search who to bless ama I think I want to bless this man mm. one, one more time. So ni ka happen hivyo nime So ni metoka Ben I'm in bless. Ni kona for 50,000. Where do I start? I don't know. Ben was alikuwa msim akona siri noma sana. So hizo kwa nyato anga vitu for all, all those years sina contact sina anything. Then kuna msitu kwa from from now ya God akanambia ile tu unasinga tu kosha zako inakwambia enda kwa mse. Enda kwa huyu mse. Me the first person that I went to and to John. John akanambia Maina nitakusaidia. Maina gave me the first contact ya China. Kanambia nao wewe I know you. Usibai vitu huko. Import vi, vitu. From there lean story ni 
kuenda kuenda. Ju I have to 450,000 shop tawzi na bayo mwana goodwill. So nikapata kashop kwa pale river road mali ju. 250,000 jamali kwa tangwa kim line. Haka ni uzi ya 250. So hiyo 250 ni goodwill. Umpati ya ya kule. Hiyo ni yake jupia likuwa mbae shop. Then nwe so likuwa lipa rent. Rent likuwa ni 15,000. Wow, wow, wow. So nikajua it's okay. So nikachukua hiyo 250. Nikabai shop. Nilitumia mbaka shelf. Alikuwa nuzafu nuzafu piki piki. Eh. Tu shelf tudogo. But nilitumia same same. Yusi naludia kufanya nini. Ma renovations mingi mingi. Na sayo wa waifu ku. Waifu ku wana hasu. Nime muambia saa. In fact ndo saa nime anza. Wife side ndiyo hope yangu sasa. Hapo ndiyo ile suru uli kuona sema. Sometimes si utakaga kuona picture. Ama wasi wengi utakona picture ya wife. Kama msi. Uchekelea mita na ekelea mita. But we kweza kumekii mita. Ame play the biggest role. Kwa kukupati. Unakaa mi sasa kwa hiyo. Mua mbianga wife. Yungu mbaka leo hii. Kenye muu make. Uneza kuhatu kwa gine wapo hivyo make. Lakini unalipati ya gabilite ya kumekii yodo. Wow. Support system. Na yon diyo ata godly. Yes. Ju godly man. Man diyo head. Yes. Wife ni neck. Wife ni support system. No na, ma prayers, tuwana chapatu ma prayers na zambia, husband yangu kienda. Peace mm. of mind, mm. lean. Mm. Let's go, utapata pia, wati muzi wako natoka. Mpatie, mpatie ma words fit in ini. Mbless. Eh, mbless. Akienda kule, anafiltua kuna manguvu. No na, anafil pia kuna, kuna tu ground anaza yes. fanya nini, yes. anaza kadu job. Mm. Well, so wife amekuwa pale ni hope nini na feel, hata, ona, hata nika anguka, Atuwe zifungu wa keja. Atuwe kwa za kusosi. Kale kangiri thati kaneza. Fanya wa antu wa antu niki. Eh. Niki jituma tuma yes, pande ingine. Yes. Bada iku wape nivo. We went. Nikapata ngiri suombile. Nikatuma na mzigo China. Na mzigo yika come. The first month. The first few months. Atuwe atu zobu kusi niko nazo huku hivi. The first few months. Nilikuwa ni kujituma. Then. Jiji njuri kume toke. Niko ito OLX. Yes. So mini msema online sana. Nimeuza. 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 Natupinapelekea. Na kumkamaka nikipelekea wazungu. Magita uko kilimani na nduthi. Nafunga ka shop. Shop yangu ilikuwa metengezo na ilikuwa ni ya mtuwa piki piki. So ilikuwa mpaka na machumo kuivi sabi ya nini. So ilikuwa yes. natoka tu hivinya nafunga tu kamlango. Unatokea. Nacho, nachomoka. Na pereka kuna uza gita na broka thau na sultana na broka thau. Apo na metoka uko ni mekibia wapi. The first month ni ka make faida. Ni make sales ya 210,000. But my profit was 71,000. Ni so, kajua. Kuisha sasa. Mzigo iku kuchoma. Mzigo jafika. Isi mzigo. Eh. My friend. Hii ni kubroka mta hapa, so, kule hapa kule. Una... Na ngoja mzigo, when you, when you uki, uki tumona vitu China, eh, uta wait. Uta wait. For like three months. So, saizi unabroka. Saizi unabroka. Unapata. Mm-hmm. Napata tupesa tu, 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 tu wajuu. Ok. Alafu karakta ni ya maana. Shop yangu ilikuwa imeja. But imeja vitu za watu waluthuli. Jumini imejanga China for your time. Eh. Wasa wanazisema, wanajua siyezi wa IBS, siyezi wa fanyeni. So, msi mwenye na duka, walikuwa nita vitu kwa shop yangu. Uzina kaa hapo. I used to buy a microphone for 4,000. Na sell 4,000 ni kiambi wa same million zaga wholesale. Duwe ni pate clients wei? Thank you. So, wakikuja kubai ya 4, wakitaka something nini ambao niko na ayo, nafanya nini? Na muuzia. Alright? And, uh, in fact, hata ni likuwa natu wangu. Ulu tuvitutu wangu, kuna shopi likuwe fungo luthuli kabla hata nitawe kwa Ben. Eh. Okay? Wakaniti ya bidu wakaniambia kama kuna, nikabai vuzawana, 120,000 from ile, do. Nikabai hiyo, so, ile chapo nikuwa na wakiriti likuwa ni 450, lakini nikuwa nishaba ito stock kido kido. Tudoko. Tuwa guitar, tu nini, nikuwa nazo wapa hivi. So, mzigo yangu ya first ime come from China after two and a half months, three months. Yes. Microphones, pupu. Yusa ni historia strategy. Yusa ni lakapia tukipia na pia tunambia wase pia ma points. Ina come through. Sasa tukwa kwa strategy. Eh. Ati ukingia kwa line flani, usilete kila kitu. Wacho wasa wakujue na, kitu wasa wacho kujue na kitu moja kuwaza. Unachiki lini? Unajua mi nilisikia kitu. Yes. Bede kitu ime niyokolea kwa life. Yes. Nilisikia, I think ni six years ago. Yes. The key to success. Yes. Ukona milangu 1,000. Yes. Funga 999. Wow. wow. Fungua iyo moja. moja. Iyo moja. Ena na iyo moja. If God ame kukwal for the 1,000, atakuwa nilishia one by one. Pole pole. Lakini God is, aki kupati ya zota za kupati ya confusion. Hmm. So, mi nika focus na mic. Lin ni liena na mic for almost two years. Mic too. Microphone different. So, hata hizi mic sunona kama hizi ni mevaa. Eh. Hizi mi hata, hizi, hizi nilikuwa na kibao, nina nini, mingi. Ukitaka za wireless za nini. So, ulikuwa na the whole of Luthuli. Ivi kuna klienta mekuja, nataka mic ajudikani mzuri. Ene ni mwangalia kwa maish. 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 So, you are becoming popular. No, for something. For something. No, na? Isho yako mfano. Isho yako. Juzi ni wakaa pale, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. Ni mesiza shu ya nabu itanga wa Kairo. Nita kwa Kairo. Sami Kairo. Yes, I listen to it one hour plus. Kalif, yes. Kalif, mimi I hardly sit for 10 minutes to listen to anything. But the reason why I'm doing that is because whatever you are doing, 
it's a unique thing mfano sawa so the normal thing about umeona so you yeah. choose your style umesema let me use this style yes. what you need to and it's audience in a group wefu kwa nabia lean lean mgani lean ku guy wacha uongo una hivyo juu ya nini juu pia umejua tu hiyo siri ya kujua ni hii njia strategy wacha ni for take kitu so pia mimi hiyo naweza encourage wa siati when you do something what you do like na kitu at least moja yenye umeivisha so that's what i did i specialized na microphones 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 then ka feeling nimefika sasa kiwango ya ku bring other things yes sawa sawa so to make the whole story short nikaanza ku do other things zika come shop ka kuata yezi hold in more so i opened another shop hapo tuko hiyo building lakini now a bigger one kabaya goodwill of 350000 rent yake ilikuwa 30k nikaingia sana ni kuona shop ngapi mbili okay. pale na hapa yes. so nimeongeza mpaka my employees niko na wasi watatu wa nne tunafanya job tukachapa job 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 then god work tuko njia zake mimi hakuna kitu ni jazz kama mtu mwenye mzira na, na njia za god hata when we fall sometimes eh tuambia god yes. na jua nime fall lakini if you cannot help me mwache, wacha tu nisiende so god akamba kazi ya line tukapata shop place nyingine chini sasa so tusha grow sasa brand ime grown shine mpaka nishaba igari yangu ya kwanza tusha hama sasa tulikuwa tunaka um, tukatoka tukatoka umo tukaenda nasra so life ina kani kama kuna vile ina jipa sasa ina change familia pia sawa naweza wanaweza enjoy kidogo dogo marupurupu hapo na pale wanaweza kula poa hivyo tunaweza shughulikia familia tunaweza lipia safe fees hivyo kidogo dogo um nikafungua shop so nimefungua shops mbili then nikaitwa shop ya tatu chini so nimekuwa natamani kwenda dukia chini sana yes kuitwa dukia tatu nikalemewa kwanza mara ya fast nika strategize nikaona hapana na wacha ni focus kuliko ni shie chini wacha tuft tech shop nyingine ya nje yeah. so that's when i went to Mombasa niko na shop nyingine Mombasa yes, yes. so i went to Mombasa tukatafuta shop tuka get shop god work on jeza kwa chini ni na siru mob tuka get your shop mse mwenye alinisaidia kitu get your shop covid ka kama ka hit yeah. so covid ku hit kumefungwa kufungwa jamaa kule kuna vitu mob jamaa ni kon 700000 mwarabu fulani pap zimeenda siezi yenda siezi fanya nini basi nilikamkujua after nimeenda so kuenda kuna kaboy alikuwa ameandika job mpaka sasa yako kaboy ile taka boy ndio manager wangu wa Mombasa mm. so alikuwa amekaita kama kafanya nini job so nilipoenda ka kule jamaa sasa ameenda missing amesema sio ameenda lamu sio bla bla tumeenda kule naambia na, 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 na boy bu hesabu ni ona mari city boy hata alijui ule mwarabu umwambia yeye ndio nini mwenye, mwenye shop so mimi nimekaa boy anashindwa lakini umse aliposikia na kam alimhinti atsiju kuna partners juu nini yes. boy yako ana kuna something haiko fi haiko poa mimi nimeenda nilimuona kichwa nikuwa na pain killer azifaji kazi nikaenda home kulala huko sasa ile ile, ile place muka eh. vitabu niko na kuzina balance ya 700000 hazipatikani na muuliza hapa kule ndaja na mbia speaker iliuzwa hata siku nilikuwa hapa tamini nilifanya nini in na pigi yule msi sasa oh ah boss na kuja na kuelezea nini nini hivyo so nikaenda hivyo na pesa yangu mpaka leo sije ipa so mimi nikam nikam nikamvuta job mm. kaboy nilipoka hapo the days nikamwambia nimekupata ultimate mia 3 months usipoji make ni one each shop inaendelea ndaifunga mm. boy ameji prove zile sales to me cost ni major sana i only got more na kakos kwa shop like two times a year two times peke yake but sasa niko na wasi wengine wawili so i have three staff mm. mbasa mm. so hawa see work diligently bila mimi kuishia sio kuanga tuna communicate na whatsapp sell ndio hii it is a collection ndio hizi anything ndio hii lina happen hivyo mm. all right mm. so tukafungua shop na ikaza kurana na ikakoiko ba uh, uh, nini mm. ika kuimea nikama ndaka kudunda kidogo then ika kama ikashika line then now we came tukafungua duka ya chini kufungua pia duka ya chini ilikuwa ni story moja deadly sana ju tulikuwa tumegeta shop fit sana alafu time ndio nimetumwa na mziko china si na kitu mabishi wangu amenembea shop ndio hii na unaitwa hapa goodwill ilikuwa cheap ilikuwa ni 3 million peke yake 3 million goodwill ilikuwa cheap ah, eh, maduka <laughs> town ni expensive sana hizo ma shops za mainstream huko chini za kuna very expensive. Ni John niambia hapa Goodwill ni chief ni 300. Ah hapana duka za chini ni noma. Ni 3M. Una cheki? Sio ikakuwa ni hivyo. But sina do nimetumona do previous ni China. So nikajaribu da kumelewa penyeleza nikageket chapa nikakosa. So ile shop wasi wengi sawa kama wakaitiwa. Sio shop kubwa ni kama i space. Um nikalemewa So ikaenda ikapanda mpaka ikapanda mpaka ikapanda mpaka ma rent rent ilikuwa 45k ikapanda mpaka mm. soju wa soju ilikuwa na interest so i felt bad and i called the god hey manzi nimetaka shop ya chini for the longest time but nimekuwa naambia wasi time yote nimekuwa pale juu mimi nasikuta shuka duke ya chini 
nda paraduka moja kubwa sana kumbe god bado vision yangu naiona naduka kubwa mm. so later i came nikapata duka ingine kubwa sasa the good will then was how many 5, five million sasa kuna wasi watatu na manga wasi watatu mwenye wanataka wana kuna msemo mmoja mzito anauza gawains huyo mse ni mzito kiasi ali buy building hapo tayo building iko na bank to 50 million hey. so mimi na hizo madomo mingi hivyo okay basa tumeitiwa shop mimi nimeitiwa mais si unasema ngo taka duka kuja sijui kulifanyikaji mwenye hiyo duka pia god pia umekuwa farao pia kivi yake akapata hiyo mse grid kaongeza mpaka milioni saba, 6.5 so wale wawili wakanikamba wanangoja tu waona kama itafanya nini itashuka kama itashuka mimi nikatafuta na hiyo mse mse nitakwambia ni nani baadaye eh. ni mse popular eh. so um nikamtafuta mse maringo nikapata naye tawaya juu nini eh nini so mimi najihambo tu humility ni maana eh. humility again kwa mpole eh. wana goda kutubia nyenye care kwa nakufungulia milango everywhere so mse ana ni size nini naambia mzee mimi mimi mi, nisaidie mimi ni young man mimi nisaidie tu mzee niki make it ndafurahia sana ndakuwa na ku so mzaka naambia duka sishukishi duka ni 6.5 million. Si account yangu ilikuwa na 200,000. Nikamwambia fanya hivi. Hii shop ndachuku? Nachukua. Nachukua. Lakini nitakunipatia plan ya 3 months. Akaniambia in 2 weeks time unlete first deposit ya 3 million. Kama utaweza tusumbua. In fact una word moja alitumia na niko sure nikisema hivyo niko sure najua tu ni yeye tu. Eh alisema wanda kunilipa duka pole pole kama lipo ya uzeedi oh. so no na arrogance flood eh ni kama ni sarudi is okay nyenyekea nyenyekea tu ni kama ah nda nda kupendo eh lini lipotoka hapo na hata nilikuwa ni mwako mguu tu from tulikuwa nilikuwa toya juu nikarudi kwa shop so nikiwa kuna via god so nilipa tu my idea to my idea my idea my idea mimi ni msema social media sana nilienda hata wife nikamwambia hapa tunasukumana na ma strategy nilikuwa na chuku so nikaza maofa na ni maofa aziko naeka offer vitu na sana mabeza chini na yako kiba hizi vitu napoa hii bure kiba hii napoa hii free makisa mimi nimepiga tu hesabu tongo nimekata mabeza wholesale 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 eh. najua hizi zitanirudishia zilete kwanza do hata kama mm. nikuleta do kwanza lin niliuza niliuza ilipofika hizo 2 weeks jamali limuuliza tunaenda kwa lawyer tukasign agreement wapi wow. niko na milioni yako tatu in 2 weeks nimeuza crazy massive sales nini niko all over ma, ma status massive alafu unatumia zile majina sana mzito mzito eh. massive sales yes. crazy limited offers L- limited offers uh. while socks last yes unaona <laughs> <laughs> watu no shamla shamla wana wana come wanaingia wana buy vitu na ni go to me ana send out say yeah tukamiki hiyo deal tukamaliza deal hii balance yake inakuja nikamalizia so nikakuasa tuko sawa problem ni reserve tabu hivyo tena ndio unakumkata hii mwaso alikuwa na goma goma yeah. huku hivi ma um, traders mm. mzigo zimeshikwa Mombasa sijui nini kumefanyika nini mzigo zangu zilikuwa kwa hivyo moja na kondi kwa almost kuna moja na nusu so shop nimefungua nimepiga ma ikofiti stocks ndio si sina so nikakaa again 3 months bila stock so bado niko pale juu lakini duka ifungulwa kumbe pia hii ni kuzi watu uoga tu kumbe god anatumia hii pia kama strategy ya umse mbona afungui so kila msita si ufungue shop sasa si when ni hivyo wow. so kumbe na there's a new shop in town there's a new shop in town talking about people it. are talking about it kumbe ni marketing bado so mzigo zilipokam finally lean to lienda tukaenda tukaenda so hiyo time covid no skin hiyo period ya covid hiyo blah blah so shop can live so shop so far imekuwa fit yeah. but ikafika time ya covid now again sir because ni hiyo period sasa kumbe kama tuna kumefuka kumefungwa kumefungwa so atuweze fanya job covid ilitu hits fast and easy you what covid did eh? covid ilikuwa ina ambia wasi wakaefafa job yetu ni wasi wako pamoja ku address so akisi tuko out so mnaambwa nyinyi kwanza tutaki watu pamoja so hakuna church au ndio dc number 1 hakuna club hakuna gatherings the season was work of a solution hakuna events yes, sound, hakuna events si ni wasi wa events tuta tutauza hizo vitu kwa hivyo so tutakuwa tuko out but god nae ni nani god ucheza kaa yeye yeah. so hiyo time hata in fact sisi hata ikija tuleza kujenga time ya covid sisi covid tume do wonders covid nilifanya vitu mingi sana juu hiyo mwaka nilibai hiyo shop hiyo mwaka nilifanya vitu mingi sana so what god did eh? after kumefungwa mimi nilikuwa na covid mimi nilikuwa kwa statistics by the way mimi nilikuwa kwa zile numbers zilikuwa so mwana gava serikali so mimi nilikuwa number 400 and kit you for 23 hiyo siku imesomwa kwa news that was me 
nikaenda nimeenda huko nimeuliza kama niko na place ya kuja hizo late bla bla nimekaa home imekuwa ni noma then nimekaa sana nimeambia wife sasa ndio kumefungwa tuko home we don't know what to do mimi nikafikiria how will people survive I think I was, the, I was among the first Kenyans kwanza kuleta hizi 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 maring light hata ile moja pale hiyo. Zile ring lights. Ring light, capture cards, anything to do with online streaming. Digital. Nilikuwa naleta na ndege. Chuma kama hizi ma stand. Na ndege unajua ni kilo. But nilikuwa nazileta hivi. Nimeleta za kwanza. Nimezi market. Nilikuwa nakimbia taa ho kuuza hizo ma staff. Lafu naambia wife nipe 30 minutes niko na class tuko shop narudi naambia wewe unajua covid wo 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 naambia goja kidogo naku nakuja narudi jioni ndio class wale kama wakaja kwa shop aje capture card nimeleta zimeisha zote na ni profit fit juu ni kitu haiko mimi nilimake dona covid my friend i made good money Ring lights ni kwa ring lights hivi juu kila mtu ameenda ma, hawa ma vloggers ma nyinyi sasa tuko, yes tuko online ndio wasi online sasa wana sell sera zao kwa hivyo mimi nime sell hizi ma staff ma staff ma staff nika make chapa shop ikakuasa shop hata kama hatuitegemei sana tu make do tukaza kumbai huko viland na kumbwa kuna professor alisaidia sana ndio wa mentor anaitwa professor ngugi ni lecturer kuna ward aliniita na hiyo ward ile nipatia nga mwelekeo aliniambia your type tunaitanga a man from the future you are naipenda sana so a man from the future ni mtu ataona hapa kwa hivi leo so chances za kesho kuwa hivi ziko very high so prepare for okay kesho. for kesho na hiyo pia ni lesson nyingine atatusishi pia tu kwa sasa uh, for now to try pia kuangalia where are we headed to kama sasa Kenya kuna kuna shida ya ni dola. Yes. So piga sababu zingine mbele. Yes. Angalia ni country gani shika na hivi shida kama Sri Lanka. Angalia what happened, what is likely to happen na iki happen hivyo. How can you take advantage of hali fulani kwa hiyo ndio solution wa kitu fulani? Identify a problem, yes. provide solutions. Yes, exactly. So sometimes pia kuna tu siri kidogo kidogo hapa hivi mm. wewe unaweza pata nini? Mm. So, so, so that's how it went. Yes. Tukamaliza hiyo story tukapata chapa. We came here, tukaza mjengo, tukajenga na the rest ina ku inafanya nini ina flow right ina flow but pia god kuna vitu pia ngana cheki hizo siri zote nime mention kuna siri tupeni kuongea in public sana na hii ndio pia but i think pia ni secret so uh-huh. why not talk about it eh? watu wengi wasemanga hii ni ministry yako na god it's a very good thing but if it's a uh, if it's a uh, if it can help someone unaona tunyamazia shughuli za unajamazia una get eh? so kuna msi mmoja na imbanga sikumbuki sikumbuki jina yake but him popular sana so alikuwa genius akiwa shule so alikuwa na anahesabu anaandika ana answer peke yake 24 next so within the first 5 10 minutes amemaliza hesabu alafu mwalimu akikamba dae alikuwa amemwekea wrong so alafu akidu revision anapata zile answers zake ni zikuwa correct yes so akauliza teacher siku moja kwa ni form hizi answers ni zile mwanga nimeandika sasa yes the problem ni you don't show us how, how you got you to this here. so kuna hii something wasi wengi ukosa kuambia wasi that is not about hard work peke yake it's not about dedication peke yake it's not about zote tumeongelea zote kuna service si ufanya ama kuna service watu ufanya zina touch roho ya god ukiguza roho ya god hivi ataku manifest ya videdi sana kuna story ya giving sawa so, sawa so, hiyo scripture umecheki hapo hivi hiyo hiyo scripture haikuagi haikuagi about love peke yake Love na giving lazima ziende kwa statement moja. For God so, so loved, loved the world that, that he, he gave. gave. So hapo ndio siri ukua sasa. Unaona so tumeka scripture pale John 3:16 God is love eh? but God is love kama na condition ya giving. Sawa sawa. How so, have I never? Yes. Thought about it that we Haiwezi 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 love, love bila kupenda. Love na kugive. Hizo lazima. Wewe sema una love bila ku, bila kupeana. Na sio necessarily hata kupeana pesa. No na love ni sacrifice. So sacrifice is organic give time yako kupea na whatever you you value so much. Okay? So kuna story ya ku give. Yes. So hii ni siri wasi wengi maybe hawajui. But wasi wanaweza waka try God nayo. Wow. Wana ita work. Okay? Kuna wasi wa kuna maofans huku hivi nje. Kuna wasi ula kuna wasi fanya nini? My biggest ministry ni siri tunata I think my wife naweza kuona jua na maybe a few people about me kuna nao. My biggest secret of success is in giving. Uwezi give na kuwe broke. 
You will never. Ever. Thanks Nona. for your affirmation. So I Ever. always look for opportunities to give. to give. But now that I give again, let's make you spiritual. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a I'm going to say, let's make you aligned with God. We're going to say, let's make you aligned with God. So kama kama haiko haiko. Nona, mimi kuna na God work. Wacha nikupatie example moja yes. kabla tu nini sana. Mm-hmm. Kuna dem alikuwa anataka job. Wako na jina sema ndio Belinda. So Belinda amekuwa ni text for the longest time anataka job 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 job. Nikamwambia okay. Ndakuwa ndakuwa ni kigari job ndakuambi. Then nikapata chance ya coast. Kupata chance ya shop coast eh. Nikamwambia nikam text. So kumbe I have another Belinda on my phone. Sawa. So nika text the other Belinda. Niaje kuja kesho tuage ile story. So the other Belinda comes to the shop. We do an interview a job. And she's okay. Who does a, so she's acting as the other Belinda. Yes, so naambia it's okay next week jipange tu ya you are going. Okay? Then katika hii week as I'm waiting for that other Belinda. No, no for that Belinda. The other Belinda text akanunza ulisemangaje ile story ya job. Nikamuliza, "Si you came here and we talked." akanambia no it's not me it's not you it's not ni nani akanambia pa nikamwambia bu come so aka come uh-huh. so i see it's, it's another belinda yes. tulikuwa nao nao church so i call the other one nikamuliza na alikwambia tuko na na wewe ulikuwa unataka job kweli akanambia mimi niliposikia job chance ya job imepatikana singefanya nini singejifunga nikamuliza basi ulikuwa na shule akamwambia nilikuwa shule lakini the dad was killed mm. so ako tuna ni ako na single mother So nikamuliza issue yako haso ni gani? Akaniambia yeye mimi nataka nika get job nipate ndo nirudi wapi? Ako university. So nikaona huu ni God directly anakuambia lipi huyo mtoto nini? Shule. So I took the matter nikamwambia wife. This one, he ni God about directly we have to pay for her fee. So tumekuwa tunamlipia chuo from wow. number 2 same say kisha come chukua check go pay. Go pay. So hiyo ni example moja ya ku give when una feel kitu kabisa iko connected na. Yes, yeah, so sio tikila msita na but tuko na wasa unapanga tu mse huyo mtoto anakaanja. Mm mpaje tu from noise kuchukua hizo ende kule lunch mwingine akona shida fulani if you can help wherever you can it's a lesson so that's it uh, we are we are here because of god's grace god's mercy and uh, hard work and uh, strategies pia jipia sometimes pia kuna wasio kutoka very spiritual eh? yes yes very spiritual unasema baraka za mbinguni yes mimi hey. mbinguni mbinguni niko na mansion Hamasho ni pia hapa duniani tunazitaka hapa hivi. Yes. So we want to live large as we can here pia as well because we can't talk about a big god when we don't show him in a big way. So this is you showing. This is yes. You are god. In fact most of our friends eh most of our friends wanasema ngaji mko na nyumba kubwa excess. Tunaambia yes we did that intentionally. Unaona? Nyumba yetu ni kubwa hata kwa juu tuko na space. Big na tuko na watu watatu. But we wanted that. Mimi mi, kama ni magari mimi napenda magari kubwa kubwa. Unaona? Yes I like big cars. Ata bado in fact ndio leta nyingine soon. Kubwa tena zaidi. Na i- yes, I want another one. Too. Na bado nataka mingi hivi zipangane line because eh, I want to show people that God has kutoa hapa na kuleta hapa na bado vingundu kuna zingi. Na zingine. Yes, yeah, so we have to show our God in a big big way. Mm. Kama ndio ministry mungu amekupatia then you must portray our God as a mm. as a good God as a big God. Mm. Na sio ati mali na show God mm. but pia mali na show God. Mm. Eh tuongelele family kidogo yes. cuz mimi niko na dream ya ku host your wife cuz yes. najua mmetoka far yes. but mm. ni role gani partners wana playing yes. ku make sure nyinyi wote mko successful na unaweza msema <coughs> nini yes. kuhusu wife now hii 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 ni issue sana mm. but ni issue sensitive sana tuko kwa 21st century yeah? yes. na gal child empowerment ni fit sana mimi niko na mtu mdemu but na feel imefika place kuna wasome lose concept ya hii empowerment all right so bila kuzingatia the core and the calling and the intention and the motive that god had for man and woman we get it wrong sawa sawa eh god aliambia man job yake ni kutil land so ni kuwak okay mwanamke amepewa role zake pia pale kama supportive role sawa sawa My issue in kuanga when a man and a woman are in competition. Sawa sawa. Ati if you bring a million I can bring a million if I kuwa hivyo. But na feel if you do it the right way women were blessed. Women wana power. Women ni wa aggressive. Women were to mwanamke ni mtu blessed, okay? If you do it right 
a woman can even be earning more than a man na mkuu bado mko in one accord mm-hmm. reason kuna kuna too many cases of divorces sasa hizi ni jumefika empowerment bila information ama bila kujua the kwa mapila kuwa na wisdom all right so i told my wife me now in my scenario my wife had to i have quite a job juu ya kule watu hii nikaambia we might attain all this but at the end of the day tutakuwa tume lose everything tutakuwa tunasemanga nini what if we gave our kids more time no na what if tuliwale tu kwa njia better so why don't we what i mean focus na job they no focus na hii then tuko na place watafika then i'll come and i promise you i will empower you nako hapa yeye ni witness the journey of empowering her now it's on mm. but not every man mm. najua uangana za anaweza kufanya something kama hiyo so we are in a series of in a, in a series of businesses now zingine about me anza as we speak ame niko nimemfungulia shop ya nguo mm. nikam fund mm. akafanya ikafika place ikakuwa kidogo imesimama mm. then we did a salon so the salon is doing very well yes. along katani road yes. we are in the process of making a barber shop still on the same place yes. still under, under her management yeah. and we are going to open five more businesses Beautiful. so we are looking at five businesses so we have two we have three more yes. okay all under her watch under mm. her management and shop yangu kama hiyo shop naweza sema hiyo shop ya sound huko inatao wambie jina decibel yes. so decibel audio kenya <laughs> so that is our, our company yes wife ame play part big sana you for any decision major decision that we make i have to discuss with mm. her this what do you think you her input is mm-hmm. very mm. very sober important and very sober you mean as act emotionally also mimi jamisha namuliza ni vitu msee job anambia no but then you may get kwa business yes oh. Women wanasaidi yanga cuz I think kuna kitu si wanga tumeona yes. yenye hamjaona bado. Exactly. Yeah. So wife ana potential kwa hiyo kwa hiyo mse na kuna tu mse atakwambia huyu mse atakumes. Na anaona. So in terms of partnership if 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 first we can get the the fundamentals right then I think the support that women give is is undeniable ni kitu major sana and sometimes even the sanity sometimes even financial wife yangu alinipatia anga alipokuwa ametoka hiyo job alinipatia anga 200,000 ku boost stock yangu when nilikuwa na stock ya around i think 800,000 so ndio yake mpaka leo mume ameanga share zako zimefanya zime nini zime increase zime grow unaona exactly so our, our differences are different yes. our, our um, stories are different yeah. but from every perspective eh, kila msana jua story yake vile iko mm. na um, inakuwa ni hivyo inakuwa ni hivyo yes sai for example cuz mm. nime handle cases zenye mkisha grind yes. then una chekika for example wife amekam through ya ameamuacha nile watu iweenda ku grind yes. then we zenye grind isha lipa yes. unatokea unaanza story zingine huku yes. inje i yeah. am even I, even i can marry as many women as, as possible I, yes. i even can get a wife number two. Yes. who na handle aje if you get success yes before you get before character. before you get character you are likely to go down okay so i am from um, i am from a humble uh, family first of all ni mwana madhangu akiteseka and that is i have a girl as well mungu nani nani i have a girl so i if i don't look from the future okay that might be my girl in future akitwa na msemi mwingine same as i'm treating my wife so so you forget very fast at times eh? yes. and uh, we if we can constantly root ourselves mm. to 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 the past if we can constantly root ourselves to god then we can have the fundamentals we can know what is right we can know what is not right kitu moja nafaa ku watch ama nafaa ku watch ama kila msana nafaa ku watch nikitoa pride the bad thing ama the worst thing about pride you could come a bad breath so bad breath unless someone tells you konayo you will hardly know you have a bad breath sawa sawa so kuna tuenda ngo accountability partners like now for our case we have that pastor body member mentor professor gugi yes. he is constantly watching over us ni mara ngapi ametuambia kama juzi ametuambia mi kama mi anashitaka tu kuniambia this you unapeleka bibi wapi unafanya nini wapi bibi una, una constantly so if even in my in my in my toughest in my hardest schedules eh, lazima wewe fuck in place you watch and kwambi problem sometimes ina kuanga is when you let go ama when you let lose you have money you have the freedom you have the space you have no accountability you will go do no problem ya t um kuna watu wako pale nje wana ngoja tu hivi nika gani kana pesa yes. haka na utachanganikiwa and you will go na utasahau because i've seen many mm. all right but if you are if you have character character and your foundation and okay like it if you are able to listen 
if you have humility you can listen if yeah. unazambilika yeah. then you are able to survive <coughs> now if you are going to amtakosa amtakosa kukosana mtakosana but again you will always find a base mtakao mm. mtaongea na mtakumbuka mm. and i think that's how other success yetu kona sasa hizi naweza kuambia it's very tiny very tiny if we are you know hiyo ndio kwa kadi ya god ile main eh? we don't know about tomorrow god line la kusho kesho kenye uko nayo unaweza jua how important it is kwa handle kenye uko nayo saa hizi with a lot of care mm. eh hey, tumeachieve kidogo lakini now we feel like we have achieved the whole world mm. there's nothing ni kidogo sana god can still do much much more so if you yes. continue lakini yes. kuja line kwa will yake yeah. na kufanya vitu pia zinafresha unajua kufresha mtu ni kufresha mungu eh yeah. Eh kufresha bibi yako ni kufresha Mungu. Yes. Jo kuna Mungu, mungu mwingine utawaiona. Mm. Mm. Mungu ni hizi vitu tunaona huku hivi zote hizi. Mm. Jo Mungu anasema ngozi sema unanipenda una, una yeah. if jirani yako mmoja mko naye haumpendi. Yes. So huyo mwenye unaona kama umpendi mimi mwenye ujaiona utanipendaje? Mm. Exactly. So that exactly. is it. Mm. You are home. Yes. Everything about this place. Yes. Yaani mimi bonina enyewe God ni God. Yes. Hii nyumba yote yes. venye umesema unyamazi ushuhuda yes. number one. Yes. But it's beautiful. Thank you. How was it like ni kukamu huku sasa? Yes. Mwanze life yes. ukijua umelala kwa kitu kana kasto. Yes. It's God. Okay? Naweza ongea mambo 1 million. Yes. But Samaria yote ni God. Ni God. So the best thing ni kujia line them mm. kwa wili ya God na kujia line kwa mapenzi tu yake. Ju Sasa hizi tunaongea hapa. You don't know if this is just an if one day you will interview me from a different capacity. Yes. Eh? Mimi nitakuwa mtu mmoja tena mnoma wa great school mmoja sema eh. Hey, I think I remember you. Amen. Boni, yes. Amen. You don't know. Yes. So all this ni plan na will ya God. Yeah. All right? So when I when I see this first of all, I see God. When I see this I I feel happy and I feel very content. Mwa mkanga late by the way. Mwa mkanga late ndio tu leza kuenjoy nini? Home. Ju kuna time in fact na pianga wasi example nawaambia Mungu kumbe alijua I could not stretch my hand like this kwa hiyo kwako hivyo kaha. Ilikuwa ni one hand hapa the then wall ilikuwa hapa. So this was the size of my house. Hivi. All right? So when I see this then I just see God yes. and the process imekuwa ni smooth. Mungu ametupatia when it's time to reap now. God anakuletea gapi ya peace ya kuenjoy. Juzi niko naambia wife namwambia God anaweza ku bless for so many reasons. Na one of those reasons anaweza ku bless aje glorify. Anaweza ku bless aku satisfy wewe. Okay? Anaweza ku bless aje dhirishe kumbe yuko kwa waja wa believe. So there are so many reasons. Lakini among hizo reason ni that God anaweza ku bless aku satisfy. Unasema ile song inasema ngo with a long life I will satisfy you. Unaona? Yes ata kusatisfy yani utafeel wow yani ushai kunywa ushai kwa joto uko kunywa maji baridi wenye unasenga tu ya satisfaction ndio kanaingia vizuri so hii nikiona kwangu ni satisfaction first of all and it's a um, it's a place where now we can we can be able to glorify god Amen. through it unaona because even kwa wale wasaha wa believe then mi kama kuna msemo wao tuko naye bishti yetu ha believing yani kwa jita nini african what african mm. studio what mm. i yeah, believe kuna god basa sana nikamwambia now the only thing we cannot argue with you is my personal experience you know how to say yes. this is my story i was here god brought me here so that god that brought me here is the god that i believe in yes. that one we can't argue about na mm. yeye mwenyewe the only thing i can't argue about is your personal experience so good it's that it's that mm. eh? wow mm. niaongeleshe kuhusu hard work mimi ulisema kitu which i totally relate to yes. na ugopanga poverty Yes. Yaani nikimagine kwanza hiyo hiyo style ukisema ushakula kama ndazi na maji yes, like yes. hata nikwambie mimi kuna food size siwezi kula kwa yes. hizo kwanza kama hiyo kandoma yes. ilikuwa inaitwa kandoma yeah. gideri yes. na siku ubaya yes. yani ni food nikionanga hiyo nikumbusha tu shida yes, yes, na sema yes, yes, sitakula yes. yani naogopa tu poverty yes. but kitu pia nime notice yes. kuna watu wako na mentality ni kama yeah nika kila kitu itakaa mtu hivi nika utaamka yes. life ime change yes. e ku put in the work for yes. me personally that's mm. my principle yes. if you are not grinding yes. if you are not putting in the work yes. if you are not consistent yes. hata ushinde hapo hakuna kitu ita change yes. what's your belief now this world mm. is run by systems sasa wa, everything that we do ama everything that is successful work in a system 
God mwenyewe ndio author wa system. Yes. Okay? God alifanya vitu systematically. Mm, mm. Alijua hata umba wanyama bila ground. Sawa? So lazima angia mikoza ground ndio wanyama wakikaa kupata place yako ya ku ya kukaa. Angia make samaki bila maji. Okay? So kuna system na kuna order fulani ya vitu anga zina happen. Everything that we do. Sasa hii sasa hii tuko tuko shoot kutakuwa na editing kutakuwa na toa hii weka hii kutakuwa na hii mm-hmm. tafu kutakuwa na broadcast kutakuwa mm-hmm. na reaction mm-hmm. kuta hiyo ni system yes. all right now um in life even do kile tunakuanga when it comes now to whatever we are talking about eh, pia there is a system system ina kuanga hivi number one, we have to have as many as as many ideas as we can hiyo mm-hmm. sana naongelesha mtu mwenyako anywhere tu hauna do hauna nini kwa hopeless but kuna brain sasa so, start thinking about anything if you have a pen if you have a paper write as many things as you can unaona nimeongea hapo previously nikasema pia angalia kwenye events kwenye mambo zinakani kama zinaelekea if zinaelekea pande hii start thinking up mbele kidogo Kido. you just might have mm-hmm. a solution mm-hmm. angalia weather kuna nyesha eh bado lakini lakini mvua by next week ile zoke imeanza kimbia kamkunje ambaye anaweza kuwa chipa juzi ni dead stock buy mingi kanazo tu ready angalia tu weather jua hii leo hii inagonga ukitoka home tembea na mavulika so lunch time jua kamvua ah, ah, hii ndio hii enda hapo kwenye nyinyi ama mali tu fulani nje umbrella ruabi 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 uta make do kabla zikuje zishuke ama kabla zikamze pande utakuwa na kaidi ya pale mbele hizo yes. ni ideas number one. number two, god ana make sure amekupatia something in your hand atikupatia anza ku save as little as you can so it goes number two ambayo ni ya saving save as much as you can hata kama ni 10 bob. So, so mbili punch. Sasa hizo wasio wanapenda happy sana. Save wacha na, na happy for now kwanza. Save, 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 save. Fungua ka account at least. Kwa msen kama msipia majipanga chini ya maji. Unaona? Ukitoka ni mambo za ku save uta pata kile unaongoza sasa investment, okay? So ile sikuta pata msave either way, enough utaanza saa kuona si niko na ngiri ni msave ngiri 30. What can I do? So unaanza mm-hmm. kuthink kama entrepreneur mm-hmm. sasa. What can I do with this money? Mm-hmm. It multiply. Wana mm-hmm. sema pesa ama no, uh, shilingi umoleka ingine ama noti umoleka ingine ama pesa umoleka ingine. So do ni kama do zoju wa kwenye do 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 mm-hmm. ziko. ziko. Unaona? Nimekuwa naambia mse juzi ile siku nilianza niliwacha kujua ile pesa niko nayo ndo nilianza kupata pesa mingi. Unaona? Sasa kama zile niko na wallet hapa basi niko mbiko na how much. Mm-hmm. Na that we move tu kuna vile juu na focus pizza ni umekuwa entrepreneur sasa mm-hmm. wewe ni shilingi tengeneza nini ingine after sasa ukishakuwa entrepreneur sasa the world is yours to conquer so utakuwa from hapo sasa uta work sasa ukijua ukijua kuna vitu kama presentation utajua opportunities mali ziko kuna watu lose opportunities mm-hmm. just because hawako prepared mm-hmm. enough mm-hmm. okay mimi mm-hmm. na msia amepata live like kwa tv but alikuwa na kangoma kangapi kamoja so after hiyo ngoma moja ambayo ilikuwa imehita kambua give us another one ana hana so nikaje ume spoil the whole deal Man. just because of lack of preparation eh. so ikam ni work hiyo ni hiyo ni segment number one. number two, wale wasi wako job ama wale wasi ufanya kitu fulani do whatever you do deal gently work hard na hiyo staff fanyia research alafu pia tuache ujua kali mingi unaona mimi nilifika high school after high school apart from your college ya diploma kidogo ya com sababu eh. sasa hizi hata situmia ngine ya sana yes, yes. But ingine ni hard work sasa ndio tani wadaku ndio nataka kurudi shule. Oh. Okay? But ingine ni kujituma diligently. Unaona? Ukijua unapata na client mzungu kesho, polish pia kakizungu kidogo. Yeye anataka kwa kwa nini book angalia? Good morning. Good morning. Mm-hmm. How, are How are you? My name is this yes. blah blah composition nini hivyo jua tu unaweza pata. Two basics. Yeah, two basics tu kidogo kidogo tena. Kama hata kama unaweza pata kasuti kamoja, tafuta kamoja. Kaka ngetu wapi? Stand by. Said kaita mtu interview akuje na suti kwa job official na mwingine kama na jeans mm. nitakao sida wa suti mm. tutaona ni kama kon ako ex- na uh, yes kuna yes kumse na kan kama vision yake atenza kwa iko iko mm. better so kuna basics tu hivi and ni hivyo but pia reason hata una kama leo tumeongea in sheng tumeongea sheng tumeongea nini tumeongea hivyo nijipe ni ku sell hope kwa sababu wako chini ati at in as much as pia tuko na gate of learning pia yes. ikifika pia ni mambo sasa serious serious kidogo tujitume tuache pia mentality za kigeto sana mm. tujitume ina modest ina good we like if you can work hard to work to work, to work hard. hard yes yes what's the importance of a family unit from your observation yes family unit ni everything mm. there is no there is no there, there is no country without families all right and there is no world without families ju composition ya family ndio ina kama ina grow ina kuwa mm. ina kuwa ina kuwa nation mm. all right 
and uh, we do a lot of things lean the only thing that can that can bring you back ama that can what ukitoka kwenye unatoka shughuli zako the only motivation that you have the only sense of 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 real life ni familia me have three kids god am blessed na watu watatu na niko na wife na any time i feel like i'm exhausted and i remember them naongeza ngapiti okay na juanga nilisomea primary ya nini primary nilis nilisomea ilikuwa ni kwa gorofa juu chini ilikuwa ni maploti ni ni wasona ka chini si tunasomea anga juu huko face one huko hivyo so i want my kids to have better okay nikio shago hiyo place niambia nilianzia life nilikuwa na trek more than 10 km okay almost 10 km kwenda shule asubuhi na niko nasari school fa sana juzi tuko kule pale like kipia so i want my kids to have better so when i see family i see responsibility okay na nikiona responsibility na kuwa, la, 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 lazima ni ni wakad lazima ni ni washughulikie so it can bring back my senses yes. na it can bring back my mm. books nione mm. this is my line i'm supposed mm. to follow this line mm. na pia itakupatia utu okay itakupatia utu if you don't have a family by choice then mungu atakusaidia yes. right but if you have a family and kama ni mapote example ya, ya if i treat my wife this way and i have a daughter nona so because i have that daughter i am able to to practice humanity yes nona yes. so i think family is a very yes. mm. important thing and when mm. when we see a rotten country it's because we have rotten families mm. so hiyo ina reflect hapa mm. na hii mm. so families ni fundamentals mm na ni kitu moja main sana hivi yes. zikashughulikiwa hata yes. then i think we are we, we are, are good eh? yes we are good yes jina maina uko tuambie kitu jina maina after i realized that was not my father mm. baba yangu tulikuwa nimemsu kumsu because yeye ni jeshi it's very easy unatuko kwao hiyo ndio nilikuwa nilikuwa mbele nilikuwa na DOD mm. nilikuwa nda huko kumsu kusema uh, atushughuliki mm. then i came to know way later that he was he was not my real mm. biological father mm. so i felt very bad because this man na ile kitu moja inaweza kuwa watu wengi maybe wanaza perceive different eh? this man was not my father okay up to date msi yeye baba yangu ni nani maybe atakuja kuni tafuta siku moja ama atakuja kumjua but sasa hizi nikamjua from nini mm. from hivyo tu but this man was called michael minor so michael minor was um, alikuwa alikuwa mtu venye alikuwa but hako baba yangu so but asha nilipia fee nishai kula food from mvuko yake nishai lala kwa nyumba ana try kulipa mm-hmm. asha iko kwa life yangu somehow yes so me ili kwa part moja na ivole kwa ni destra nayo mm. and ipatia bitterness mm. all right so i was to become very bitter with him hata nikienda kumsuhu kwa hivyo nilikuwa na kumsuhu nilikuwa na feel why do i have someone that at least ako in a position but hazi nisaidia mm. I used to be very bitter I used to feel very bad but after now I can kujua he was not my father now my names are bonface they utter the hero kuna watu wanga wanaijua I said I'll use this minor as me now I'll take that name as a honor and as a way because I'll pass pia I'll come pass pa die so I said I'll use this name as a honor and akio mahali yako I'll 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 take this name but it is mimi mm. because now again kuna cultures fulani yes zinaweza kubind yes. we had two miscarriages tulikuwa mm. na miscarriages mbili because of that name again right so wife ako hapa we had yes. two boys what were pass before ta na wajazaliwa oh, but because we had the intention Iyo. of calling the, ma- the minor. minor so yeah yeah i went to my my grandmother kanambia yes. there is a like queue saying in yes. a samanga mureka gutuoda tu wagoregi so ati mwenye amekataa kunemiwa anemiwa tena so meaning you are naming the wrong person, person. but nikasema now with me it ends with you ends with me yeah. for dignity yes for showing respect na, and for na mimi mwenyewe niweze kujimalizia hiyo business mm. nilikuwa nayo Good. so i called myself minor and the yes. name has become so popular kila mtu anajua minor minor boni minor minor hivyo yes. but now for my kids yes. my kids are all me yes so yes. when we decided again mtu wangu when nikajua na nikasema we went to church tukatoa vitu tukasema god we have come with this one giving again mm. we have come with these ones we want uh, we want to bless us with a kid na ukitupata hiyo mtoto jina tutamuita jina yako tutamuita yes. jina yako so our yes. first born son is called israel wow. all right yes. so israel ina maanisha ya ku persist so we persisted yes. with god tukamwambia god kutupatia hii itakuwa ni hivi 
and that is it. And that's it. Yes, so that's the name. Mm. Yes. As I conclude, yes. eh, kuna watu wengi wamekuwa accused falsely. Yes. Yaani nimesikia story yako mm. and for some reason because I think they the misconception interpretation ina kuanga different yes. eh? especially to men mm. i think boro umeambu umefanya yes. umefanya mm. and kuna watu wengi sana wamekuwa accused falsely na bado wako na hiyo bitterness yes. na bado mse ana seek revenge mm. ungetaka kuambia nini first of all it's the hardest thing ever sasa so, if you have if you have never gone through something it becomes very difficult for you to talk about it ama for you to encourage someone mm. on the same line mm. unaona nga when mtu amekufiwa na mtu mkimo encourage unamwambia nga don't worry it is well it is well it is not it's, well it's, it's not well it's not well it's not well no na but because we have to get a word that is close to to what we should say mm. then we just have to get a word mm. all right but for me since i've gone through that Naweza nikasema many people open their mouths ama mdomo zao ama mdomo yao mm. ama mdomo chao ama mdomo chao <laughs> to make fun sometimes to 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 judge yeah i remember me when your time yangu ili happen nilipigwa na kokoto na police fulani lean pub niko kwa kwa hiyo gari i cried sina mtu anaweza nisaidia naambia si I, I cannot do such a thing. I cannot do such a thing. Yeah? There's a friend of mine named Banosh. Alikuja kuliona jela tulikuwa naye high school. Kasi ana karembo. Zile words aliongeshwa na hiyo police. Mpaka leo hata season kazirudi. Season kazirudi because it's very painful. Jua nambo if unajua huyu mbona ungefanya 1 2 3 4. You see eh? And I felt it and I felt it I felt very bad. Eh? So when I see people first of all like ma- kama yo mama, I forgive her. I forgive her and I I will not forget about it anyway. Yes. But it's very emotional and I can tell people eh, that whatever God brings you away he knows you can handle. So hiyo kitu kuna watu wengi akielewa story kama hiyo. You will just die. It's a very hard thing but wale wase wanaweza kuwa still wana go through such bitterness. Maybe washai kelewa kitu kama bisi hiyo hiyo mama ni issue different washai kelewa something. The freedom that the tactic that the devil sometimes uses is holding you back. So you know the potential that you have, the devil will hold you back. If I still have that kind of business, I a bit and to now, probably since you na na at a place kama hizi ongea story story kama hizi. But now I have the guts, I have yes. the confidence, I know I can I can I can speak about it and I'm say if ushaya kuwa accused that of anything wrongly. The freedom that you need is within yourself. You need to forgive, you may not forget about it. But for giving, umbaji said free, utakuwa free and you are able to focus with other important, important things. Important things. Yes. yes. Mm. So freedom iko 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 within yourself. Iko within but yourself. it's very yes. very hard. Mm. It's mm. hard, but it's possible. Mm. Yes. Nataka kuenda yes. but kabla ni malize, mm. kuna kitu na feel ilikuwa kwa roho, yes. ungetaka kuongelelea na pia mm-hmm. wanaweza pata hizi pia kuna wa break ya down vitu zenye najua hii ad hii by the way hata uko poa nisipoambia watu wangu kwenye watapata hizi mm-hmm. vitu yes. si ad si yes. nini si yes. commercial yes. but pia waambie wase una deal na vitu kaa gani na okay. wanaweza zipata right. wapi? wapi yes all right now um first of all thank you yes. for 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 coming mm. and for having time together with us to, yes. together with your team eh? yes tuko grateful you propagating this for me this pro- propagating mm. some good news yes all right good. and uh, this is a very good avenue yeah. do whatever i'm doing mfano pale tiktok yes i am doing that because i feel that like i i need to tell people yeah. about this good good news encourage yes. people yes. nipate wasi motivation so what i want to thank you yeah. for coming over mm. and for whatever you are doing thank you wife yangu kwanza hata wacha niseme mimi wife yangu amekuwa hata nampatanga pale <laughs> Linungugi 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 kwa nyumba ni popular Unaona? Nashukuru. So recently ndio ndio ameniambia hebu sikiza hivi story nikasikiza kama hiyo hiyo hata before to call. Yes. Nikasikiza ah this but nishai kuona from before from these days that took off. Yeah. But whatever you are doing is inspiring a generation. Thank you. In your own way, in your own special way. Thank you. And your line to mechukua tu hivyo endelea hivyo hivyo na jua ni hard. Ni very hard. Na um, 
if kuna mtu atakuwa life yake itachangiwa mm. mimi na wewe tutakuwa counted mahali sababu hii yeah. video mfano but now the reason why we do this again mm. ni tu tunataka wasi wako motivated tunataka msee mwenye yako hopeless mali penye yako afi anaweza kuwa na hope mm. tunataka msee mwenye na feel downcasted mm. afi kuna if um mm. toboa hata mimi naweza nikatoboa mm. so just to encourage every single person listening to this one eh? ni muambie your days your beautiful days are yet to come Amen. your beautiful days are yet to come mm. just put everything in its place mm-hmm. naita kwa fit mm. all right so kijob tuko pale luthuli avenue yes. pale junction ya luthuli avenue na kamai road yeah. shop inaitwa decibel audio kenya yeah. tuko facebook same name decibel audio kenya tuko instagram same name decibel audio kenya kwa na website ukitaka pg yetu yote kila kitu yenyewe soka tunauza www.decibelaudiokenya.co.ke yes. so tuko hapo si yeah. uzaga vitu za sound lights si uzaga um, music instrument mm. kila kitu kama hiyo so mm. tuko hapo for now yes. soon opening a branch in moya avenue Amen. na kisumu so soon watu wa kisumu pia tuna camp mombasa pia tuko pale bamburi yes. na it's a good thing yeah. and we are excited Amen. yes Congratulations. Thank you. What are you most grateful for? I am most grateful first of all to God for the gift of life. Good. All right? I count myself lucky to be alive and to be where I am today because life yangu na feeling. Na feeling ingeishangatu zamani. Growing up in Dandora, ghetto, waizi, drugs nini na nika choose God work and choose to kuni kunye push tu kuni keep to safe safe mpaka sasa hizi i don't take life for granted mm. i give god glory mm. every single day mm. for the gift of life yes. i'm grateful to god for a beautiful family for giving me a beautiful wife and uh, three kids i'm grateful to god for everything everything yani mimi from from a to z yes. mimi god gratitude na, space yes ni tu yangu tu ni god mm. because inaza na god mm-hmm. na malizika na god yes. and again for all the support that we've had from from the church yeah from our friends from our colleagues pale job wale ambao tunawaka nao again it's possible because of them mm. every day they work so hard from our mentors from our friends huyo wao tu mentioned what akina pastor ngugi for the mentorship yes. it's a good thing it's a good thing yes and even for you yes. for the opportunity for people to be able to know us as well Thank okay wa kitu jua na sisi tuendelee ku build yes. capacity 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 na ku encourage yana hivyo yes. we can even make a better country Good. from these small small so, talks here there mm, yes i appreciate you yes. and thank you for opening the doors yes. to us Anytime. you have an amazing family yes. you have an amazing home you. you just enter this house and you say hey god yeah. si unaniona pia Kabisa. si unaona penye niko <laughs> so it's beautiful yes, yes, thank you. now as always any how much am i your confidential um, how much e, ni, yes e e how how, mm. e how ni how much ni ni do uh, at least I'm exactly ni how much yes you'll pick a place and i think pia mungu alifanya maybe intentionally yeah yeah ndio tukujua ni how much yeah but ni do tu si do mingi na pia si do kidogo eh but ni, ni pesa tu wewe ni, ni do tu ziko kwa mahali tu ah boni hakuna kitu umetuambia sasa okay ni, the ni, reason why we may say this eh unajua tena kuna watu we take we take na njia different yeah tumesema tunyamazi ushuhuda so this yes. one was 18 to 20 million it's beautiful yes, yes. it's worth it yes. like uh, it's it's yeah. honestly yes. one of the mm. most beautiful places i've been to thank you, thank so you. Hey. congratulations you so god akufungulie milango Kabisa, endelea kumtunza endelea Kabisa. kumtukuza yes, yes, endelea yes. kugive Kabisa. endelea kukupanulia may you blossom Amen. may every corner mm. of this country yes. na si tu kenya yes ata outside yes, Kenya yes, may yes. your name yes. may your name your product yes. zako zikue hapo yes, yes, and yes, yes. May, may his name be glorified you, in so it all Asante. so wendo buruke kabisa, kabisa. Hakuna, hakuna the man from the nini the future man from the future boni mwenyewe congratulations najua watu wangu ata come through ata just to follow and see what you guys are doing endelea ku inspire if you are asking where i got boni straight from tiktok my people <laughs> nilikuwa tu hapo na browse yes. hivi mm. hivi nikaona yes. kitu nikasema yeah. wow uh-huh. this is such an inspirational mm-hmm. story yes. and when i see it guys me kisha 
by the kuna kitu mjuangi mi mm. vitu move lazima zini inspire kwanza kabla mm. nizilete hapa kwa wow. show so iki ni inspire na mm. feeling obligation ya kushare na nyinyi ndio yes. muone pia ile kitu yenye mi niliona mm. cha niongee na wife yes. nisikie kama maybe yes. one day ama leo atatupatia story eh, ni muhimu pia yeah. tujue ni akina nani wanashikilia familia ah, busy, so busy. acha ni yes. muongeleshe pale thank you so much nionekana tani pea show yes. but above all thank you for even your time yes. is precious hata so wewe kuka hapa na sisi mm. na kutufungulia moyo yes. i don't take it for granted and the way my people i keep telling you whatever your hustle is ikitu nitarudia mpaka siku moja ikuwe kitabu mm. be proud of it yes. there is no shame in hard work mm. ukiona ka opportunity usipuze mm. tumeongelelea story mob mm. opportunity strategy mm. vision mm. hard work mm. god yes. kujielewa faith yeah. yako iko wapi mm. unaona like i'm thinking yes. ile siku hiyo mse alikutuma yes. kupeleka hiyo bahasha hiyo obedience, obedience. Yes. ka ungeenda ungepatana na umse kwa, kwa mat na ka ungepatana na umse kwa mat atujui ungekuwa sure. wapi so hiyo obedience yes. to kidogo yes. guys it's yes. the little things that we do but above all mm. an opportunity ki come na haita meet preparation hiyo yes. opportunity itakuwa waste sure. keep grinding guys you never know opportunity itatokea wapi be prepared all the time yani mimi naomba tu god aendelee kunifungulia milango niwalete yange show kai hizi ndio muelewe kuna hope kuna hope yani god anipatie tu show kai hizi mob yani i flood them kwa hii channel ndio pia we penye uko ukiamka una feel uko encouraged so thank you so much for tuning in kama kawa i want you to tell me what is your take home from today's conversation my man denzel is amefanya vitu mo but above all put god first and as you can see from bonnie's story mm -hmm. it's the same thing easy zote easy zote yes ame amekuwa ame successful but above all ame put god first so unaweza ona hii kitu ya kuput god first it's not a mistake see me see nini alafu the spirit of giving you know there are times nimejipata place na feel am i giving too much why am i giving hata ujielewi unaweza tu peana na ubaki bila anything lakini uko tu na some peace of mind so hiyo tu spirit of giving ufungua mlango mob sana so guys be inspired be inspired i know there are some people who are watching us outside kenya i always tell you the english hapo cc button is where you can be able to listen to this story na hizo captions za english we have english captions for you so we've not forgotten you and of course i want to say thank you so much to my incredible team that gets to put this work together i appreciate your efforts i do not take it for granted and of course to thank our community we are at 600 plus subscribers guys it was only ilikuwa tu dream lakini sitawaambia sikujua tutafika hapa nilijua tutafika hapa na nilijua tunafika one m subscribers so continue supporting our work we appreciate you we do not take you guys for granted and belgium and germany see you soon so you might as well start sharing your stories hapa mse move by faith by the way start sharing your stories with us lin.google at lnn.digital or info at lnn digital to nane baadaye sawa peace